fool. Damn. We live, baby. Mm. Yeah, I'm just uh Shout out to Thug Boss Nation up uh, not nah, Boy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Dope. Is that even still a thing? Oh, he said. Oh, he said no, 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 no. You know, you know why you? You know. <laughs> I didn't hear what he said oh, fully man. though. I didn't hear what he said fully though. Y'all wrong for that one. <laughs> Thug Boss Nation. Y'all know oh, who that is. <laughs> you for real? <laughs> Stop playing. You gotta know who they are. Playing. Joe, you know who that is? I know you know. You Thug, know Boss you know Thug Boss Nation. Thug Boss Nation. What, what? You just in the statue down station. KB's old. Come on, man. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, I was about to say, nigga. Y'all don't know. Look about nation. I ain't listening to that. They represent y'all, though. They had a good little. Mm hmm. A little bit. They just didn't have that hump. We not even had that hump to just get over. That was for her. We're not doing that, though. Uh, what's it? for? I don't know. I think it was a mix. Yeah, that was what I was going to say. Yeah. And remember the the BMC boys? Ooh. I do. Them niggas were hard. <laughs> the BMC boys. I'm over it. We gotta, get, we gotta get some new faces in these spots. These are old niggas. That's some. That's yeah, that's saying. like that's some old Trigo. Texas shit for real. We don't ever, mm. I remember. Think, think about that on a bigger scale. Think about every state just in the United States and how they had their own little song they can go back to that's only yeah. known in their state. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a lot. That's a lot of niggas. You mean what you, you keep dropped that? that? Oh. I do know that. What Thug Boss Nation now? I mean, I do know KB so yeah. I, I don't know. I didn't know he was in a group. I Cecil, didn't know that. that nigga Cecil so crying. I don't know your music history. Uh, I know him. I, I, see, I was about to say something. I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say welcome it. Welcome to an all new episode of the Five Percent Podcast. It's your amazing host for the evening. You know, on Facebook Live, DJ here with my fellas. What's up, it's your boy Wes. Uh, I'm just ready to pod today, man. Just keep him. Keeping it short, no fair. Small technical difficulty. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Damn. Do I need to put it back on? Yeah, no, leave no. it there. It shows we in the trenches. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead, Joe. Yeah. Oh, this is Javon Lockett, also known as Javon Lockett. Thank you guys for tuning in to another great show. Let's get it. It's your boy B. No, I'm playing. What's up? How y'all doing today? We out here living large. Mm-hmm. What's going down, baby? It's your boy Rick. Y'all already know what time it is, boy. We here again, ready to pod. Ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh. See, that's what I'm saying. He ain't just the dryer. Nigga, shut your ass up. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in on this amazing Friday evening on Facebook Live. Um, If you ain't had a chance to go like and subscribe us on YouTube, go ahead and do that. We have our do previous that. episodes up. On Saturday at 10 a.m. Also, they're also on um, Apple Podcasts and Spotify and all them DSPs that y'all uh, like to go find. Yep. Y'all can go search D5% Podcasts and put the number five and don't spell out the five because you're not going to find us. Also, if you're not following us on uh, IG, please go ahead and do that because uh, we get all our um, little uh, clips and stuff sent to that page as well. So, you know, when we drop and stuff. Drop we drop shit. stuff every day yeah, So every if you want to see some of The clips from this show every day Go ahead and follow us on IG I know. And you can go see I want to shout out my OnlyFans no, just... <laughs> You're not lying in reality <laughs> Speaking of OnlyFans They are You could be nothing on the camera Allowing uh, <laughs> Basically <laughs> split 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 <laughs> yeah. Y'all back in action Let's uh, get it Come drop us Yeah when they seen that back <laughs> <Like that. laughs> Yeah, that was that was gonna that was gonna be a, a huge blow to today's uh whole yeah, that's, platform. That's the whole freaking that's the whole freaking site. Now it didn't start off that way, but yeah, it transitioned into that, and you know, we gonna just be fans. I don't think it would have been yeah. too bad. Would have been lonely fans. Are you serious? Yeah. They, they lost, said they, they lost said all like they extra on. sexual shit. Well, like putting uh, they could still like take naked photos and shit. No, 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 no. We're talking about as far as if they had taking OnlyFans off there for real, they would have lost a lot of they like money. I heard like it's like ten or twenty percent of like their top performing accounts are all like right. for pornographic right. accounts. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hmm. She's still talking about something I really gotta know. What the fuck is your nickname? Freak, freak man Joe. Now what, what it how do say L something. No, hey, that's not Whoa. for the podcast. <laughs> what the Whoa. fuck? He said it's time for the podcast. What? Right. This nigga we we can't <laughs> get it out, bro. What is that oh, we comments? <laughs> How was y'all week week this week? Shit, wow. 
Anybody? Oh man, my week nope. was <laughs> got my hair done. You know, um, so you know, Ooh, pretty cool. I got my hair done too. <laughs> <laughs> the, the usual Africa, huh? Ooh. Nah, I'm, <laughs> you I'm, got like, eight. I'm, I'm working on something. Nah, nah you got it, baby. Yeah, you'll see. It's, it's gonna take me a minute, but it's, it's gonna grow or something. Okay. <laughs> what you what you got going, Wes? You know, hey, I'm, you know, just you trying to build a beard. He said build. I mean, hey. no, 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 no. I'm no, scratching I what I got right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on something. So, how was the camping trip? What? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> It ain't look like somebody daddy My son bought me this hat yeah, So I'm, I'm just wearing the hat Because my son bought it for me yeah. I caught some bass Trust me It's a lot of fish out there Look at that <laughs> Nah you look clean like Real talk My boy look clean like, like, Just got off the boat No one day I'm gonna legit be flying Y'all can't roll No like, you look clean I'm messing with you bro hey, Now you all clean you bro be clean. You clean for free but I want it to be like A thing though Like to where it's not like Oh yeah what's clean today Like when I'm hey, you clean, wanna it's, be... like, it's still like a moment Like You, like, you clean wanna... in like a a bait and tackle type of way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you dick sporting good sex. <laughs> Bam, pro shot, fool. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 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 that nigga oh, said oh, bait and tackle. Oh, that that yeah. I, I was say, how was the race, fool? Like, <laughs> that nigga said bait and tackle. That nigga sponsored by Bud Light. Like, it is good. <laughs> Hey, why are you playing? That's a Steve sponsor. White. Hey, for real. Oh, boy. That's a sponsor I would not <laughs> mind having. Tackle, bro. God damn, boy. You look like you're saying yeah. just most racist shit right now. <laughs> like, you just voted for Trump three times. Yeah. Oh, that don't say MAGA on the back. Like, you do it, do it. <laughs> MAGA. Nah, but you good. Oh, I don't do that. <laughs> don't say that on this podcast. But uh, let's get into uh, deep dive nah, into this that podcast. Was that was funny. That was good. Uh, all right. First, first thing on the agenda. All right. Question: If y'all had the power, you always do that shit. Do what? Do what? I ain't do Every time I come with my question, you gotta say some shit. I ain't say a damn thing. You moan the grunt and shit and all the other shit. Like, man. It's Come on damn. with the question, bro. I'm ready. Y'all ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Eric? Yes, sir. <laughs> you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. If y'all had the power, what would be y'all's perfect world? Damn, that's a really hard question. Yeah, time thing. I can go first. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, I don't man. Okay. If I had the power, if I had the power, uh, I would want a world to like where there's like no money. Mm, okay. Shit. All right. So, how society would be? It'd be like no United States and all that shit. We'd be all just one big ass Country globe. Robert. Yeah. So basically, you know, what I'm saying, as a child, you still have your school and shit. Mm. Then after school, you will have to do like a job that's that uh, um that's helping out the economy. Like whereas, um. But if you ain't got no money, ain't no economy. Well, you know, just make the world go around. You know, yeah, make, you know stuff you. that we need, like building shit. Or, so you trying you to know. have this shit looking like so we it, pretty much live. Well, okay, so at sure. a certain, like, you have to work there from, like, just say from high school to maybe, like, 30, 40. Then after that, you, like, free to do whatever you want at that point. But you'll have to, like, work. Oh, you know okay, what I mean? Exactly. So you'll have to you pay your – you have to pay your – Respect to the world, but then after that, you good. You know, you can get whatever you go and get whatever you want. Do so it. how do you get stuff? You work. You just go get it. What you mean? So, <laughs> just I go feel get like, it. I feel so like will they be like a crime, Six Flags? Man. So people gonna work at Six Flags. You can just walk in Six Flags for free. They gonna feed you, ride whatever. Yeah, everything, you, whatever you want. Okay. So, but then every place is gonna pretty much be employed by people under thirty, correct? Between high school and like thirty, yeah. 40. People, you just have to work. So you have to do you your just, diligence, kind of like you yeah. in the military, but not you have to right work. Now. You know what I'm saying? And you everything so be taken care of, housing. You know, you won't have no bills or nothing. You you have a roof over your head. Well, everybody lives in pretty much the same type of. There's no social class, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Okay. I pretty much. That. Okay. That's so a, that's where does like higher learning come into play? Like college or people that want to be a doctor, or people that want to be. I ain't thought about that one. Oh, <laughs> so right, you're basically talking about just basic yeah. manual labor. Like you're saying, everybody yeah, got to do manual labor until they're thirty. Are you gonna need healers? You gonna need? I guess, I guess 
for that, you're like, okay, say after grade school, you test, you know what I'm saying? If you test, like, you test and want to be a doctor, so you make a certain score, then, you know what I'm saying, you choose to go do that. That's like mm-hmm. your working thing from after high school. But he's also talking about in a world that isn't programmed to think how we think now. So this would have been Im- embedded from the jump. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So nobody yeah. would have any idea that being a doctor is more important than being a freaking like ride attendant or some shit. He's yeah, just saying yeah. everybody yeah. just do what they want to do. Had the same purpose. Saying yeah. yeah. Well, different purposes, but like you're able to fulfill that purpose <laughs> on the strictly on the love of, of fulfilling that purpose. Like you're oh, yeah, not gonna man. get in and have more than this person or less mm-hmm. than that yeah. person. Oh, yeah. like, everybody gonna be on the same plateau, but you pretty much do what you need to do to survive. I respect that. I respect that. All right, I want to go next. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. If I had a perfect world, I'd probably be – if my if I had a perfect world, I'd probably keep it how it is right now, but fix the bad stuff type shit. Like it would still be a form of <laughs> currency. Like it would still be a form of currency. Like I would still have a presidency. I would still have a government, all that type of stuff, but it just wouldn't be corrupt. If anything, I would make it like more for the people. So, like, still have, like, a voting system, but also have, like, uh, uh, what's the word? To where you can vote, you can vocally, you know what I mean, say what you have a problem with is going on and it actually be, you know what I mean, like, considered or, you know, listened to. Yeah. So, it would be the same importance as voting for a name. You sending in your complaint or this is what I think needs to be fixed about the world. And then I would do, no, not because then you can't do what everybody wants you to do. I would probably do it like a to a poll like okay uh i don't like tom if i get thirty thousand different type of letters that got tom name in it and say they don't like him you know what i mean okay that's enough people for me to sit here you get what i mean yeah. so i'm not just going okay well he don't like red so i gotta change it you know what i mean got to be other people that support you right. you know what i mean not support you but like randomly have ass. that same you get what i mean yeah. so for the example like the mask thing you know yeah. what i mean if everybody complain okay this is why blah 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 Versus the amount of numbers I got in, like if more people are saying, okay, hey, I feel like we do need to be masked up, then that's what we're going to roll with. You know what I mean? But if yeah. people are complaining, saying health issues, blah, 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 you know, I'm going to roll with more of what the quote unquote people want. Because I feel like we kind of, as far as one of the problems in the world is that we get caught up on, like, you know, if you don't have a certain stature or, or name for yourself, your, 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 your view or your voice is not important. Yeah, you right. get what I mean? So right. it's just like, and keep it 1,000. In some certain situations, it's not. You know what I mean? Because you have to educate yourself about a certain situation to really know what you're talking about. Yeah. But then at the same time, there are situations where you ain't got to be nobody to know common sense that this ain't right. You yeah. know what I mean? No, you're right on that. It's just that money moves a needle and everything. So, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So it was so, just like, yeah. I still, but I still feel like the type of world we live in, there are meant to be poor people and they are meant to be rich people or some people have more money than that and the reason i say that because is you can't put a price tag on somebody's happiness or morals so at the same time a motherfucker ain't gotta have the same amount as money me and you ain't gotta have the same amount of money but we can have the same amount of happiness you get what i mean or it's just like you could be chasing being a millionaire chasing a bag of beast being a billionaire but at the same time i could be happy with my nine to five as long as i got my family whatever you know what i mean and we still both happy i got a question for you What's up? You say you want the move you you want to keep the same but not the bad stuff. How like what what would be your solution to like eliminating the bad stuff? Because you know if you just keep it like it is, it's always gonna be like a a rebel. I say like I said like pretty much like try new things though. Like I feel like even in certain situations, some stuff that might sound outlandish, like a lot of things are at least worth a try. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's where we kind of get ourselves at we kind of do the same shit or just tweak it a little bit and you get the same results you know what i mean like let's mm. try something totally different oh well, that wouldn't work you know what i mean we ain't never we never tried it you know what i mean it might mess up this it might mess up that but at the same time it's like it might fix a whole lot of more other things you know yeah, yeah. let me interrupt you because mine kind of on the same scale with yours but i want i would if you talking like powers and shit like if I had the power to make shit if better you, if you if it was like okay brian got the power to make this world i'm gonna go all the way off screen But I'm gonna make it Go back to like Pan- Pangea type shit Like bring all the Continents together mm. So like that would Eliminate mm-hmm. Some type of war mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying Like, like tribalism things Yeah like mm-hmm. okay. And I feel like Everybody would be okay. You know what I'm saying One people And then it'd be like Probably one One or two presidents Just to Me yeah 
Uh, anyway, nah. but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, something like Eric's though, like you know, you still everybody getting that same opportunity and shit. But keeping it real, even on that, like as far as like connecting the landmass, I feel like that's cool too. But then at the same time, like I feel like also the landmass is being separated. It also gives you more of a reason to, or a, the option to travel the world. You know what I mean? Yeah. See what the world is about versus, I mean, it'll be different if it's still one landmass, but you get to travel over the water or what whatever. Saying. You get what I mean? Like, you technically. Still, I mean, if you combine everybody, like, you still can be able to travel. It's just, it's just going to have to, it's just going to be hard getting everybody to speak the same language. No, I, I agree. I feel but like think about would... it if it's one main landmass, you know what I mean? There technically wouldn't be no reason to go in the water. You know what I mean? Like, you would be off the coast, but as far as going in the water, going in the water, like, where are you going? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're just going to go over there. Just they went, they went I'm saying, but you can take that's the just water like, around. That's just like, uh, that's yeah. just like United States. Like, when we go travel to Vegas or we go travel to New York. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? You just go go. You can still get on the water. Like, say you got on the water in Cali, and then you would go around just to, go, like, Japan hey, on the other side. You just go over there, you know? But yeah. I was saying that, I mean, that, the only thing I see a problem with that is just, like, getting everybody to get on the same language because we're gonna have if we com combine uh and be one world or we all gonna have to speak one language because we all gonna have to be have the power to i don't agree yeah i, I feel agree. like we can learn all the languages you yeah know what I'm saying? i don't like, say i don't agree and that's why i said <laughs> no no he's but oh. <laughs> then they're saying if we go back to the beginning because remember like oh yeah yeah so that means well, everybody to your point though same way. to your point uh actually got two things do you think like Back then, when they used to like, you know, you used to steal, you get your hand cut off. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you feel like it was less, like, I guess, crime back then than now? Because now you just, I right, just go to jail and you get out. Back then, you used to get your tongue and all that shit. To a certain extent, but at the same time, that's it's still a difference between you know what I mean. Like it was more of a fear reason, not just because motherfuckers want to do right. Like, I mm -hmm. feel like to ultimately stop something, you got to make a motherfucker do right, not just so much fear you to not do right. Because at the same time, even though I might fear what you will do to me, if I'm desperate, if you're going to turn your back, I'm going to still do it anyway. You know what I mean? But if I just morally in my head, I know I shouldn't do this shit. That's that's for the reason, was you know? It, was the question, was that my crime back then? No, he said no. Less, was less. it less than, than back then because of the magnitude less of what? Crime? He's talking about the way of life. Was yeah, it like, way more? I you know, back was. then you used to get, like, if you steal, like, you mm -hmm. steal now, you go to jail. You just you go to jail and serve your time, you get out. Back then, you used to get your hand cut off. Mm -hmm. So, you know, do you feel like there's less crime back then than mm -hmm. now? Hell no. It's, hell no. I think, I, think it, I think it's more humane. You get away with it. He's more humane now. The punishments that people you get. get you but well, it had to be worse back then because yeah, it wasn't you, no you, you, you didn't catch as many people as often either. So you had to make a statement too. Yeah, yeah. You, like you, like, yeah. like back in the day, yeah, you'd you'd get your hand cut off for stealing, but the <clears throat> risk would outweigh the the benefit or the benefit would outweigh the risk most of the time because yeah. like if you can run nigga you gone <laughs> what yeah, they, yeah. What they gonna say do? you got a horse <laughs> what they got fingerprints and shit like nigga it's a good chance ain't nobody gonna find this shit let's keep it a fuck like yeah, yeah, right. I ain't think about like just that. getting away with crime point. in general back then yeah, was, it was easier easier killing wasn't someone no, all types of shit no definitely just think about it back then though take it back there man just think if you could just Oh, it's gonna sound bad. Oh, don't say it, bro. Cause I feel like if I say it, you murder somebody. <laughs> yeah, if you can just murk a nigga and just hide the body, get so away with it. With ease. I mean, that's ain't gotta sweat that really, shit. You not really, really don't gotta do that. You just murk him and walk away. Yeah, <laughs> drive him to the street, <laughs> murk him and deal. Murk him, right? No, we'll see nothing. No, yeah. We'll see nothing. Uh, my second question was, if drugs were never were made, sure. do y'all feel like this world be better? No, no. I think it'd be worse if all the drugs except for marijuana. Well, let's take it technical because he said made marijuana wasn't. Oh yeah, made. Well, she So is. if he do, if he is talking about, let's get it technical. If you talking about, you know, Everybody laboratory made been. drugs, hmm. that may be an argument of yes, because no, you're talking no. about pills. I would say no, simply because I literally just watched this documentary the other day about because technically caffeine is a drug, yeah, and coffee is is like the biggest and drug most influential drug. drug of all time because it like supposedly coffee Cigarettes. took us out of the like they brought us into the industrial age because like it allowed us to break free from the sun like like usually it used to be niggas would get up 
when the sun got up and you'd work and then you'd go home when the sun went down and the day would be over. Mm-hmm. Now you can have night shifts and shit because niggas was drinking caffeine and shit like that. So I would say no. So drugs definitely helped us progress. So but without, that's without, natural though. That's a natural state though. That's a natural drug. Like caffeine, like that's that's you know what I mean? Like that's something well, shit. So is marijuana, I but that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So but even still, like if you think about it, how many things have been discovered or or breakthroughs have been made because niggas was on acid or tripping yeah, or, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying say, I don't feel I like on. those things should be uh, in that category like anything nah. that you can naturally make from the ground like you don't need a machine like you know what I mean like that's not included like you don't need a machine to take acid you don't need a machine to take so what, you don't what need kind of, well, specific, acid, that's what acid, I'm saying if you're acid. talking about you know well, specify on what you yeah. think drugs are then I'll go on what I think well I'm talking about what he based off his question ask the question again if drugs were never like he said made, made. Drugs yeah, were never exactly. Made. Well, I'm kind of meant like yeah, exist. Okay, well then oh, that's different. Well, that's different. Yeah. Uh, I feel like with some drugs now. What? Well, okay, where would our drugs? I think we'd be more enlightened, be more connected to our, you know, our spiritual self. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel like. I feel True. like we're doing what everyone hey, normally does, with. and and lumps all drugs into one category. Exactly. When it's not like that. Yeah. Like different. there's literally pharmaceutical drugs. Yeah. Then there's. Yep. Medical. Uh, uh, medical drug or medical drugs, then there's recreational drugs, mm-hmm. and then there's like harsh drugs that are just mm-hmm. stupid I'm, shit. Yeah, like, pretty sure you're shit. talking yeah. about harsh drugs, right? I was talking about anything that uh, pharmaceutical. I was talking about. Oh, well, okay. Oh, well, on yeah. that tip, okay, okay. Then I yeah, I don't I don't agree with that. I I think we'd be fine with yeah. drugs here. I think yeah. Uh, I say well, cause yeah, yeah I would that. just say drugs is necessary. Drugs is medicine, so it's like without mm, that, yeah. you're basically saying yeah. If no, we yeah, never yeah, I'm not talking about like stuff that like yeah. You if you, if you're talking about the heart, like yeah, I'm like talking crack. about like crack, like crack, and heroin. Like that. Yeah, that's what I thought y'all <laughs> were talking about. Heroin. <laughs> I mean, oh, still be. Kind of, but like you know, we would, we would probably like, yeah. fuck if we didn't have yeah. aspirin and shit. Like nigga, if yeah, niggas we, couldn't we, cure headaches, like it wouldn't be the same. And it'd just be dying from cold and shit. No, the the two issues that is wrong with this world, like the main issues, is greed and then the hating of our own people and different people. That's where it started. Like. If, like DJ said, there was no money and we were like on a just like like animals live, like an ant farm type shit, then we wouldn't have a lot of this like violence and, and like hate toward each other. And if uh, if we knew the real history, if everyone knew the real history of, of their people and we were willing to learn about the history of other people and just connect on, on just the fact that we're all human, then we wouldn't have a lot of other things as well. But... I think greed and just hate are like the two yeah. the biggest yeah. things. Tribalism, man, fuck this world up. But that's a whole different story. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, y'all two go ahead. Perfect worlds. No, I was gonna, I was gonna say, in, in my perfect world, I think artistry would be more of a like artistry would be like more uplifted. You know, the world would like look at that as like the thing rather than like sports. Like shit like that. I'm I sorry, boo. I'm sorry. I'm just saying if like, like I, I'm saying I, I'm I'm with, saying, I'm with that. Like, as, as far as like like music or like what just not even just music. Just I like I'm talking about more. like it's, it's like highlighted more. Yeah. Yeah, like people that could draw, like paint, like write plays oh, yeah, and shit yeah. like that. If that was pushed more in like school and like people look mm-hmm. more upon those type people, um, like at early ages and push that to the forefront, I feel like you know it was like. I don't know. I just know. I know art, like in, in creativity, benefits the world in a huge way. Right. So, so you I feel like it would change the world altogether? Art? It wouldn't change the world altogether, but I think it would. I I definitely think the world would be a lot better than it is now. Like I just think art and expression, like people but that's like that, that. Like the question, like more like like what would you? How would you structure your world though? Like in your perfect world, you know what I mean? Like art would be one of your things. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. like, how would it run in your perfect world? Well, before you get to that, because that's going to carry away from what I'm going to ask you. Okay. Uh, you say, you're say saying art to be, like, more in the limelight, so to speak. Right. So, with it being, you know, rare, do you feel like if it's more artists, like, say, for instance, like, hip-hop, but in, like, art, do you feel like that'll take away the the specialty of, like, the art? You get what I'm saying? Like well, a Picasso. If it's like a lot of Picasso, do you feel like that'll be like, oh, we just seen, you know. 
No, I don't think so. Cause like I, I feel like we like. I feel like we like like I was trying to say earlier, like we kind of like cling on to like the old shit. I feel like if we had way more artists and things push to the forefront, we would have more innovation, and we could push humanity forward a lot faster if we had people like always creating and like thinking uh, and thinking of the next new thing. So I mean that I, is I, happening on a daily basis. To be yeah, honest. I, I feel like, like it could be more though. I feel if what we you're fucking, saying. Though. Yeah. I equate what you're saying to, I think, something that I heard Elon Musk was talking about where he was like, because their whole thing is like robotics and shit. So, like, they're yeah. trying to, like, make it to where our our everyday, like, boring tasks and things that we do, like, would be automated. So, like, their their main focus is making our lives, our, our busy lives easier so that we can have more time to focus on creating and exploring and innovating and things like that while yeah. while we're spending time you know cleaning the house and yeah and doing laundry and doing all the other shit that you know yep. takes away from time that we could be spending you know bettering us as a civilization and shit like i feel like that plays a lot into it because it's That's like how it all start, though. if we can if we can find a way to spend less time on like the ne- the non-necessary or like the non- or the tedious stuff, then we can spend more time focusing on like the art and creativity and moving right. forward and shit like that. And also in my perfect world, I would add <clears throat> a different curriculum of like education. Definitely. I definitely would. You know, too. I think yeah. people should hone in on their passion, the things they're passionate about from an early age that they're truly passionate about. And then they can learn how to get to that level. Also while learning how to freaking maintain like income, Income, like self, you know, what I'm saying how to take care of yourself, how to survive in the in whatever climate that you're in, you know. And I feel like people should learn the real history of their people. They should have the option at a young age to fucking just learn the history. I'm still learning just about just the like basics, but just learn like the real history of where they come from and the people that are around them and where they come from. And yeah, I feel like people, yeah, people are just learning the wrong things, in my opinion. But so you feel like extent. algebra and shit shouldn't be really. Well, I, 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 think, I ain't use no, I ain't use no damn algebra since I've been at high school. Yeah, no, I'm saying you. I, I, I still think people should learn the basics, um, but at the same time, I meant like extracurricular. Like, I think there should be more, uh, more classes about how this algebra ties into how money works, and you know. Like, I mean, I, I agree to a second thing. I do, like, I agree you should learn a basic, like, reading and adding and all that it different shit. It should be shit. graded. But I feel like in school you should be taught what you, you know what I'm saying, need after high school. Like, uh-huh. the, um, how to manage money, how to yeah. uh, credit and all this yeah, other exactly. stuff, buying houses and, And that's you know, what I mean. I feel like they should tie that. So. They should tie math in together. Because I know I only took uh, economy for, like, a trimester. Like, that should be a course you take. A who? A course? We had trimester. We had, like, 12, 12, and 12, or something like that. But it wasn't a class you just take. It was just, like, trimester. A, See, but yeah, I feel like we this trimester. question, we got to yeah, be trimester. a little bit more open-minded about it, bro. Because in your perfect world... You wouldn't even have to have credit. Like I wouldn't even have credit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, nigga, if you like want a house, exactly. You need. Kind of going against what the question yeah. is about. That's why I'm saying to my head, like, why are they talking? If no, I mean, no. Everyone's word. perfect word from what they said was, was great. I especially like Brian's, but like, I was just saying, like, it just in mind. I didn't. I wasn't going as big as y'all were. I didn't. I was like, oh damn, they talking about like, oh, okay, so really, really changing. But this really I was like just saying, word, like, if I just this question is really like a or like unlimited. Like, if you was. None of y'all got, but if y'all was like had that power to just yeah make this the perfect shit mm-hmm. ever, like what? How would it be? I mean, oh, yeah, okay. I changed all okay. this well, shit. Well, 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 I'm, I'm gonna go and oh, think yeah. back yeah. on what you said. Yeah. Then. I, I make a real sim, more of a, more of a like a ant farm kind of like mentality. Like we act, you serve the queen. No, we don't serve the queen. But you know, like <laughs> he's say, he saying like everybody has a task. Everybody has a task. Everybody has a purpose, and you were able to fulfill that purpose. Like. Yeah, but see, mine would be just be more of like 
Okay. So in, a, in a perfect world, it'd just be like endless resources, so it wouldn't be fight on resources. It, it wouldn't mm. be. That's what I'm saying. Unlimited be, freedom. Everybody would be morally connected. You know what I'm saying? So crime sh- wouldn't be, a, you know, wouldn't be a uh, resources as in everything. Endless resources with a food, water, uh, pretty much the. If I if, if I had to really pick on a perfect world, I think a perfect world would be be living off the land. Like That's why I was saying bring everything you together. Everything you need. Basically, no starvation, no like none of that. No, 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 no urge to uh, to take. No urge to, you know. Uh, so basically, a boring ass place. <laughs> no, but please. okay. So let's talk. Okay, but let's you talk know, about that. Oh, no, peace. Re- it, it, it depends on uh, peace. Might be boring, but it's peace. You know, what I'm talking about it. But that's why right, I, right, I, feel, I honestly like if say we want to go deep. <laughs> I honestly feel like that's it's what, in human nature. Like we're not peaceful creatures like that you know what i mean because at some point now you're talking about every living thing tigers lions whatever they don't live in peace there. at always you know what i mean even when they hunt just to eat to, for survival it's violent you know what i mean so yeah, it's just like fine. that's what they have to do to survive that's so fair. now you're making uh pretty much uh a life that is pretty much if you think about it be the same thing every day you can do whatever you want to. Okay. You know what I mean? And that's but how we're so, 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 so to think now because we have all of these different things. We have the different uh, creative. Uh, but there was always mindset. there was always violence even before humans. But again, just to talk, survive, there's always world. gonna be survival though. No, we're talking about a perfect world. So you're going away from the question. But it's yeah, always gonna be survival. Saying, still. You see what I'm saying? No, I, 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 get what, I get what you're trying to say. Yeah. But the question was. What would my, be my perfect I feel you. No, I get you, but I'm just questioning it. Yeah, because in your perfect world, then what would be the point of life then in your perfect world? If you have everything you need, there's no, I don't want That's for anything. a perfect world. For I'm me. not going to lie. I, I'm, I agree. So, I'm saying so. What What? What ahead. would be your point of your life? That's what I'm asking. In your perfect world, what would be the if point of life? If necessarily wouldn't have to be a, a, a sense of uh, a point of life, I have everything I need. I'm going to live my life until I'm gone. I'm not gonna lie. What y'all said was a was a different thing because yeah, when you think about like a lion trying to survive, they're not hunting like for a negative purpose. They're hunting because that's just like the circle of life, as they call it. Like I gotta hunt you to eat. You gotta hunt them to eat. But that's what I'm certain. saying. There's always gonna be that. Yeah, but that, that don't survival. mean it's not peace, though. So we're there, JoJo. But in his is, world, you wouldn't be doing that. He's talking about though. human on human. Lions aren't eating each other. No, I get that. But my thing is. That's low key letting out that aggression. That's low key letting out. You know what I mean? Because it's in your no. nature, just Look, at all. What, it doesn't what, have to do with the what world. What Joe is saying is, no. if there was in his world, there would be there would be no shortage of resources. In that right. sense, he's saying, you imagine in your life, there's things that you have to stress about, like you have to make sure you got gas or you got food and this and that, whatever. If you didn't have to worry about anything, like if you wanted to eat, you could eat. If you yeah, wanted to nope. go somewhere, you could go somewhere. I figured how yeah. What would you eat. What would you do with all that? With the ability to to have everything at your disposal, you would be happy. So it's exactly, like but that's what I'm saying. Shit. You not necessarily would it be yes. evil, but I feel like to come to go against what he's saying. At the same time, you would you would have everything at your disposal. So I feel like human in human nature for people to come up with different ways to like. Fight and, and that's entertain where I, themselves. That's where I was saying like yeah, it, it exactly. would come to survival because somebody's gonna think, yeah. "Well, I can have well, more." Yeah, exactly. Fuck that nigga. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's that's what I'm saying. And I respect that. But then again, I was asked, "Will be my perfect world?" But no, I, I get think, that. But you're just gonna say you still think it. about in your perfect world though. There's gonna be somebody in the world that don't gonna, really fuck so with that shit for no reason. You know what I mean? Perfect world wouldn't be what I just said, correct? No, I'm saying it wouldn't be able to be that if you because. We well, talk about the I world, not humanity, you though. Because now you talking about world, that's exactly what I said. I get that, but just what I'm saying, you talking about two different things. World and humanity is two different things. We live on the world. We're not the world. You get that's what, what I'm saying? saying? So you would humanity still have the same wise, humans, you just somebody. put them in so a we're different not place. At all. No, we talking about the world. That's the question. I'm just I'm I would say make a better world. I would say in his situation, there would be a lot less like there evil shit agree, going on. Agree. But in the sense that it would be more so like just like sick people that just want to do weird shit instead of just that's niggas niggas stealing and doing all these yeah, crimes because they have yeah, to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When, well, I, when, I, when I heard the question, I'm I'm hearing it like Joe, people in the world would change. Like but Joe, y'all but y'all are saying the world around us. No. Right? Yeah. No, you're right. No, no, yeah, right. yeah, we, yeah, we're not saying no, you're wrong. So I'm not wrong, right? No, you're, yeah, we're not saying you're wrong. wrong. You're right. They just deep diving That's into like, like, and like, yeah. and like right and wrong. Because if you were, yeah. if, if if it's your perfect world, of course you can have the mind. I mean, the power to 
say, okay, everybody in this world gonna have this mindset. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we can have no evil. Not, yeah, like, you, right. I mean, you know, that'll be your perfect world. Because that's what I'm saying. When, when he's saying there's unlimited resources, like, there's enough for <laughs> all of us to live off of what we have. Like, nobody's gonna have more than anybody else. Yeah, so well, there's no off. reason to steal from you because I got what you got. Yeah. And there's, there's also no work, no need to work for it because it's there. Work. But like, so like, basically, y'all kind of saying that that's never happened to humanity ever. There's been tribes, there's been cities, there's been town of people where that's mm, happened. That's never and it's happened. Been, that happened. What? No, what are you nigga, talking about? That's proof. No, those are proof because facts. at some I'm point saying, no, you have to you have to work for certain. Like you have to work. For stuff, if he's saying if it's just abundant, like okay, anything you like you want, like there's no, there's no shortage of anything. Oh, we we have to go plant this, so it's it's there. Like we got it, we got it. Like you're pretty whatever. much, but that's what I'm saying. You're pretty much low key describing a cult, not a cult, but that's exactly what. Like if I am in a cult, no, no I'm not saying it in a bad way, but what I'm yeah. saying is, I can make if I have a billion dollars right now, I can make me a little town. That you ain't gotta want for shit, and that's Yo, basically my personal world. We're talking about saying? the world, though, you're not just. About it from like, a moral but way I know I get what you're saying. But I, the point of what I'm saying that is is that you're still at the end of the day, unless you're changing humanity altogether, you still gonna have somebody that's gonna fuck that up. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so, you get uh, what I mean. I think we interpret the question differently, but I get what you're saying, though. Here, I, I, I honestly, yeah, like I honestly if, if it was if it was just like you had like if you had the money and you want the dude. What he's saying, of course, you're gonna have people yeah. go against See, that. I'm but if he, power, like, if he has the power, I'm, and like y'all, y'all if he can physically, physically change this like with his hands and people's minds, then he's gonna yeah, do it that way, and it's Make gonna it work. Change humanity altogether. I got yeah, you. Mm. Y'all both had solid like points. It's just that y'all were arguing two different things. Yeah, I was trying to make y'all see that you're. Yeah. Talking about the same thing but different aspects of it. Who was that? Okay. Yeah, man. That was a good one. You know what I'm saying? Get your minds turned. Oh, okay, yeah, we was like in everybody's there. A answer. whole new world. Ooh, what's speaking of a whole, <laughs> speaking a of a whole new world, I got another question for y'all. I never knew. But when we're way up here, (laughs) it's crystal clear. So long. Now I see a whole new world with you. Remember when they was riding carpet? Don't you dare close your eyes. (laughs) (laughs) They was killing me. Get that up. Get that up. Make sure we clip that. Uh, (laughs) But uh, that was my favorite movie. Just want to say that. All right. It wasn't, but it was close. Eric. Yes, sir. When you talking to a lot of females, no, I'm <laughs> okay, no. Back in back, I'm pretty. I want to assume that everybody on this this panel has been through their player days, right? Mm. No, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, no dog. Hell no. Do you run the same game on every female, no. or do you like? You know, oh, I'm gonna switch it up because you got one. loud, fe- loud females and quiet females. <laughs> oh, bro, go on. You gotta do oh, wow, <laughs> that's real shit. No, bro. You, you no. can't treat a loud female like a quiet female because that loud female not gonna take that shit, bro. I will no. say this. I, I kind of feel what Brian said. I, I'm the same with every woman that I, you know, that I talk to on that level. But I want their situations are gonna be different with each woman. No, he's talking about running the same game. Oh, like, nah, I don't think I'm running the same game. Like, like you, no. y'all, you, like, nah. like, you can't walk up to Tierra and be like, hey, how you doing, type shit, and then walk up to fucking, I don't Destiny. even know. That yeah, and, cool. and she, if she, bro, if she no don't play that shit, or she like them type of niggas, like, so you don't feel like that's gonna work on Ron Trigger. I feel it. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're naming people. No one knows. Yeah, you can call the T era like that, but <laughs> no, I'm just saying, bro. You can't. You can't do that. Lost well, three viewers. As as <laughs> <Cool. laughs> <laughs> no, nah, all right. Let me put it to you like this: oh. It's just females that like certain things, like money. Like if you ain't got no money, you can't go talk to her. Type shit. Mm. Are we going that deep into it? Are we talking question, about just DJ, saying the same No, things? I don't use the same okay, so shit like, on each Okay, you yeah. got five females. Oh, okay. You talking about You know what I'm saying? You shooting your shot. <laughs> Do you oh, go man. in with the same game on all of them to, to, so you won't, you know, fuck yourself up? Do you got that same game plan? Like, if I'm just... I every, see everybody's scared, so I'm, player, just gonna, I'm just going to... If I'm just being a player, man. bro, like, I'm just, like, whatever gets me to that to the, to the, to the, to the finish line. Ooh. Yeah, you got to think about yourself as being like the a, pussy. my play I, bag. I think it's no, stupid, but I see why niggas do it because it makes sense. If you if you use the same 
line or whatever over and over and over again, eventually you going to hit. Mm-hmm. So it's like I get why niggas yeah. do it, but at the same time, like, bro, you, you can't you can't shit. just be doing the mm-hmm. same shit over and over and over again, bro. But if it's working, dude. you have I mean, better luck I mean, if you learn how to approach people if differently. You can, shoot, <laughs> you can just shoot, just shoot the ball. Hold up, like, DJ, you talking like shooting straight shooting the shot? He talking. This is what DJ yeah, is no. saying, y'all. He's saying. No, see, y'all say trying to make it more specific to, than it is. DJ is just like, how do you approach people? Let me get him, bro. Okay, so you're talking to three different women, right? Do you use the same game, like, oh? Uh, you smell like cinnamon, Ramon. and then you go to her and be like, you know what? I oh, know you the smell other like day, cinnamon. You smell like cinnamon. He, that's what he's saying. Like, nah, do you say the that. same? Type that's what I'm saying. You can't do that. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Don't you make can, it, don't make it more, but more, I'm gonna tell y'all. Yeah. See, I'm gonna keep it G with y'all. Let him know. Let him know. <laughs> One time, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put y'all on. You know, I always put y'all hey. on. Let's see. Let's see. Good. Tell us how you doing now. Ooh. You can't. You can't do that because you have to handle every woman differently. You know what I mean? Off top. There you go. Talk that shit pocket. Once you get them and you have that woman on the team, you can say little stuff. You know what I mean? To all of them. You get what I mean? Like, yeah, hit them with the, point. you know, hit them with the eyes. Oh, man, your eyes lose me. You know what I'm saying? Say something a little sweet like that. You can tell <laughs> five different women's that. You know what I mean? Because that ain't shit. You know what I mean? Or you can Pick tell lines, five yeah. different women's, like, you know, I like your smile. But as far as approaching her, you yeah. can't approach a woman, every woman with the, like, no, like Brian was do. saying. Some, you know what I mean? Some ain't on that money shit, or some is, and you approaching them like, you know what I mean? The opposite, it ain't gonna work. You to like so you have to judge the situation oh, first. Fuck I'll all talk. that. Fuck all that. Female, bro, you gotta know you, female mind is like 10 times us. Fuck all that. Ooh. If you play a. So I was letting y'all get y'all shit out. If you play a and you got it like that. You gonna all use right. the same game on all of them? Basically, man. DJ saying he used the same game. Yeah, pretty. You much. know what I'm saying? Yeah, just same same boom, 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 boom. Reel him in. Here we go. Nah. Oh, and I wanted to back if up. You're a true player. You can't, bro. You can't true player. Because uh, that's what I said. There's pros and cons to each one. If you if you use the same game over and over again. There's gonna be a catch that women I mean, go okay, women no, go no, fuck yeah, with it and they go and gonna get it. But if you also if you also have that ability to Tell switch them, your really. shit up, yeah, then you can, you, you can, are more you can elite, more fit. you more elite, elite player, yeah, yeah, you more I elite. More exactly, switch it up. I ain't even think that's just gonna work. It worked though. I'm in nipple saying. So I got a side question because me and a certain someone had a conversation. Ooh. Do you yeah, rank the that. women that you like in your life? <laughs> oh, definitely. I always oh, yeah. been so doing that since grade like, school. Big guy, a ranking system. Yeah, oh, you're always a ranking system. Oh, is there a level of how much you talk to that person? No, nah, yeah, mine's like, is my how I rank it is if do I really see myself trying to be with you one day? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. If I don't I see really that shit, then you know what I mean. Like then you just stay on the the limited time. You get the, I call that's why I call that about. Off. Yeah, you get you get limited time. Like I can't spend that much time. Oh, y'all about to say they get a fourteen day yeah, trial? Little, little I don't limited. know why people put so much like stress on like especially females. They're like, you made like you weighed your options with me or whatever. It's like, well, yeah. isn't that what I'm supposed to do? Women do but isn't that what you do? Well, you do you get what well, I mean? Yeah. Like you're that's doing the same. They get offended words. like you're not supposed to like. Let's talk about that. Weigh their good and their bad. Bro, like, but what, what are you? Isn't that how we're it's humanly like, supposed to you know, judge uh, things? Like, I agree. <laughs> I feel well, like it's fucked. I mean, I think it's fucked up if you sit there and make a list and write it out. But I mean, like, obviously. I go off for like if I'm judging you. If I'm judging, if I'm gonna be with you, yeah. I'm gonna think about what's good and what. I go off for how they like, ah, strong. Like it, if they all like bad or you know what I'm saying, I can see myself talking to them. I go off for how much they doing for me. Like if I can see your effort, and you know what I'm saying, you slide up like in the power rankings in the NFL. You know what I'm saying, yeah, you have a good like college football. You have to a good me, that game. Don't mean nothing to me. You have a good game. I don't care about what to you me, do for me. Really. Exactly, exactly. But if you gonna do like if you I've, like okay, say I'm at work. And you chilling at the crib, and I come home and my shit clean as fuck. No, you you in the dough. Like, that's that's what to me. Say. That's, that's what I'm talking to, about. To me, that ain't, it ain't that to me though. To no, me, but, I either know I, to, off top. I don't care what nobody say. That's I guess it's just me. I you either know or you don't off top. You either I mean you either that's know. That's what I'm saying. Like you doing you, it just you to know. Do it. That's what I'm trying to say. You know if you want to fuck this yeah. person or not. But no, it ain't no not though. off not off top though. I to think me, it's I more. Do. I think it's more it's about time, you got to wait till some shit happen mm-hmm. or like nah. you know what I'm saying because when when you I'm telling you bro when you first start talking to somebody bro you always on your a game like you make sure mm-hmm. you at your your best you know what I'm saying you got to wait until you know shit settle down and you just. Yeah, it's just uncomfortable, or y'all just on some chill shit, and they just got to be around you and your element. Mm. 
that's like that's how you know. Nah, because to, to me, I done seen, I done been like, I done talked to a lot of females that or down you know what i mean like they really like i know that arrive for a nigga regardless you know what i mean and it's yeah. just it's just not there for me you know what i mean Sometimes on my end you know, end, you know? Down. It's like, I know that and that's crazy. and that's really a case too that's not crazy yeah. but chicken, no a chicken nah, go ahead. too down for me hey, boy. Boy, it cause it's they care about you they care about you they care about, you more than they care about their own life because it start to feel like it's not real love bro it's like you really it's like you doing too much it's like damn that shit annoying as hell it's really annoying so <laughs> oh, I ain't think about that, but and Joe, okay, you know so why? It's because you, you, you want. Mm, it depends on how you feel about it's that like person. Because like, if they doing all that shit, and then you like, I like you, but mm. it's not that it's a like, bad thing. You just over like me. It's kind of mm, weird. It's not that it's a bad thing, ladies. It's just you know what I'm saying. You want to always like build to that. So if That's you're saying, saying it yeah. too you fast, like a, it feel oh, like you. Like, it feel like you just like searching for it. You know, instead of letting it come shit. naturally. Talk that natural shit, Jarrell. Yeah, that natural shit. But even to me, I, like, even taking it to that, though, like Joe was saying from the beginning, to me, even if you let it build up over time, we do got all these years on our back with the situation. Yeah. It's to a certain extent. Like, you can't, you can't show me, like Joe said, it's like a barrier. Like, you can't show me that you care more about me than you care about yourself. Like, low-key, that's a turn off. Like, that when happens. you be low-key obsessed that with a nigga, annoying. you know what I mean? Like, I don't really, I, to me personally, I don't like that shit. Like, I like a rider, you know. I like when you down, but when you just, you know, I haven't ate today because I want to make sure you ate. <laughs> that is, bro, I be like, what is wrong with you? I is literally that is look mad at you like, weird, but thank you for this food. Yeah. I didn't even take a shower because I wanted you to watch. Like, whoa, yeah, I whoa, just wanted whoa, to take a shower with you today. Like, nah, that shit is annoying. Like hey, yeah, it's some, it's some weird females to get down like that for real. I know that's kind of extreme, but but you get what I'm yeah. what we're trying to say. Like, <laughs> that that really happened, and it's like it's weird. It's so weird when they have you. Be like, what the fuck did I get into? You just want to ask hundred dollars, but here you can you get just those, gotta read you the room, ladies. You, you just gotta you gotta <laughs> know what. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'll take that shit. I take that shit to heart. Oh, y'all some hoes. Quickly, yeah, man. Thank you. Look. Just, just know where y'all at, ladies, in y'all, in y'all stage. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's and all it is. Man. Last thing, like, y'all know where y'all at too. Like, mm-hmm. motherfuckers be acting stupid. Yet, like, you know, if a nigga want to mm-hmm. fuck with you, mm-hmm. and like, same thing with niggas. Like, you know, if a chick really ain't fucking with you, don't mm-hmm. put all that time in. When yeah. you know, come on, like, you, you know the signs. Like, yeah. and if you don't, you need to work on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You sound great when you talk into the mic. All right, Dr. Cool. Thank you. Dr. Joe <laughs> Field. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, cause that, that it be a lot of signs there, man. Like y'all gotta like women, <laughs> y'all gotta understand, y'all gotta take them signs, man. When y'all see them signs, like at the same time, like I know I'm kinda of throwing niggas under the bus, but this for the real women out there that's getting done wrong. You know what I mean? Uh, like let's go to all right there. <laughs> Did any crazy shit happen this week? What's going on? What's what's the the seminars? What's in the hot topics? Yeah, y'all don't care about the real women that's out there that's getting done bad. I was listening, but you know that's what they got. I'm just saying, like, man, if you see a nigga, hey, keep. No, you work, baby girl. That's real shit. No, you work, cause I got daughters. You know what I mean? And I know it's niggas out there like me. They used to be like me, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, this colder. Now we gotta let them go. Yeah, you gotta let me go there. But it's this, this, this colder than me, and it's just like at the end of the day, I just feel like as a woman, a person only gonna do what you allow them to do. So it's at the same time that don't make it right. But the same way y'all be out here doing niggas food, don't expect niggas not to do you like that. All right. You know what I mean? You can't be no play ass <laughs> female out here. You know, doing niggas any type of way, just getting dates, date, dates. You know, paying nigga paying for everything. And expect, oh, I'm, I want to take this one serious. Cause I'm gonna come back around and vice versa for niggas. Yeah, yeah. Your you can't be. Yeah. Speaking of that, uh, uh-huh. oh. do you, at, at, with you having two daughters, do you are you afraid of? Not not this in a bad way. Do you afraid of them being attracted to somebody of your past? No, nah, I feel like at the end of the day. I might change, and I honestly do believe this. I feel like my I might change. <laughs> yeah, I might change my view upon this. What I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> I feel like at the end of the day, from what I learned so far about being a parent is that stuff like that is like inevitable. At the end of the day, I love my little girls without my heart, but I do feel like one day they're gonna get their heart broken because everybody go through that. A nigga That's gonna true. play them, they gonna, you know what I'm saying, I don't want it to happen. You know what I mean? I'm not wishing bad upon them, but I know it's gonna happen. So only thing I can do is be there for them or teach them how to react after that or before that or while you in that. You know what I mean? Mm. So I can't worry about them getting hurt cause shit. At the end of the day, you know, I told you not to talk to this type of guy or I told you not to do this. So, 
you got to learn for yourself. You ain't going to figure out that stove hot till you put your hand yeah, on it. Life, you life is you know greatest, what I mean? Like, greatest So teacher. go ahead yeah. and go out there and fuck with a nigga like me if you want to. When you around me and my daddy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's nasty. That nigga go with you want to ride. Nah, but he nah, is right though. Life you is say that's nasty, teacher. but like naturally, oh, we, we're, that's really drawn what to, we're drawn to yep. people that are. Yep. That no, I'm just saying. Hey, that's facts though. In high school, if I was fucking and a girl told me she was reminder of her daddy, I'd be looking at her crazy. Oh yeah, nah, I but I mean, I, it's, yeah, I'm about to say that. Now. I got another question for you though. That is natural. What you say? I got another question for you. She's a very kinky girl. Is it, I only ask him because he got daughters. All right, Rick James. Are you afraid <laughs> of your daughter being promiscuous? Uh, now, I ain't gonna lie, that I do worry about. For whatever reason, I don't care about them getting like heartbroken and stuff like that. I not care, but I, I feel like that's bust the, down. Yeah, I don't want my daughter to be no hoe. Like, <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, boy, your, your daughter working BTs, man. She be throwing them TTs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, Whoa, God, like yeah. what if you like? I'm gonna feel God, so bad. God forbid, real shit. God forbid. <laughs> 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 no, bro, God forbid. <laughs> what if you like, like, like you at the store, you at Walmart, or whatever, you going down the house, like, you know. Oh. High school or whatever, and like you hear that conversation, like yeah, man, uh, Mr. Lockett daughter freaking in the month, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she like, was sucking such a mean yeah, bath like, over there. Oh, oh, like she oh, fucked us all. Oh, like, yeah. you can't I, I didn't even look at her the same. In my heart, it just be bro. I wouldn't even get on her ass. I just like look at her, just be crying over this. You go come on, oh, oh, fuck your hoe, oh, fuck your hoe, get your ass in there, clean the bathroom, right there. <laughs> but what can? But like, what can you say? Like you can't. You can't say these guys already did shit. I mean, I can keep reiterating to say sex to her, but at the end of the day, if you want to, if you want to bust your shit open, I ain't nah. gotta be in it. You know what I mean? Nah, so, no, nah, that's your nah, shit. You know nah, what I mean? You, nah, that's your. I just nah, don't nah, try nah, not to nah, try nah, not to nah, try nah, be nah, clean nah, about it. You know what I mean? Nah, like, nah, nah, because nah, keep it all the way one thousand. <laughs> you can have some busted down pussy, but at the same time, if you clean, that's different. I don't that care what nobody says. Hey, hey. He is right. Man, if you ain't got no disease, right, you can't say no. nothing. No, ultimate. hey, if you ain't got nothing Eric, going on down there, if you ain't Eric, burning, bro, ain't nothing wrong with that. Bro, at the end of the day, if you oh, hit a nah. female, unless her shit just wide open, open you not going to know. How many females you to tow down? That's what I'm saying. At that's the end true. of the day, bro, unless a female busted wide true, open, you not going to know how many miles that shit got on it. Long as she clean. She, that's what the matter. out here in these streets talking shit, You know what I mean? So Because everybody's going to have that point to where they're going to turn around and change in life. Be like, man, I don't really want to hold no more. I'm tired of slanging dick. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be. I want to be somebody, you know. So <laughs> now I can't have nobody because I got all these miles on my shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's real. That's real. Though. That's I mean, it. I feel like that's I, just I, real I, shit. I'd be really I'd proud of inside too. Cause, cause like, huh? I think anybody that it's really not. It really is not about the miles. No. Right you but know what I'm saying? Long as you clean, it, it I would hate to fuck with a virgin. Like, no. That, I'd be thinking about that too. That shit is gross. Too. Hey, I just. I um, hope I don't disrespect <laughs> or offend anybody, but man, I used to boy, I used to love that shit back in the day. Like when I was in my prom. Nigga, busting the man, having a, like, being a I female's first, that used to be, first, that, 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 nigga, that used to be a goal, bro. Can I tell you, no, I don't want to tell you. No, I ain't gonna tell you. I ain't gonna lie, I used to love that. Much like reaching a new country, bro. I used to love that, like I'm that special person, y'all so first, you know what I'm saying? I used to love that, but now, like, you know, you come my way, I'm like, man, I ain't got time for this. I don't want you to be a hoe, but you gotta have a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I need, I need at least, you got a couple miles over there, you know? You gotta be a slutty out at least one time. Two dick experience or something, you gotta have some, bro. Two yeah, everybody yeah. need three. three you gotta go three, yeah. three and up. John. At least you, three you, you gotta have at least three dicks. <laughs> but it ain't about the dicks. It's about what you done did on the dick. What you done, <laughs> <laughs> what you done did? You, so, what you done did? I mean, how often do you run into a virgin in our age anyway? You, you're uh, not gonna do that. True. Uh, if you a thirty year old virgin at these well, on these oh, days, my that's not happening. Marshals before my I remember before my last. <laughs> Uh, I was her first though. But we talking about our years ago. We talking about thirty year old. No, but but we talking about thirty year old versions. That's what we talking about. I tell you, we talking about thirty year old versions. That's still, that's still crazy though. Bro, it was weird for me. Cause yeah, like, that's crazy. So, okay, off of you, Kai, I hear fucking hoes. God, is damn. you gonna be proud of that? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. Gonna be proud. No, no funny, proud. no funny Hold shit. On. But I think about this shit all the time because my son is real handsome. You know what I'm saying? So I'm already like Yellow gang Like You I know need, what's up Yeah you gonna know what's up Yeah he, he's He's interested in girls Like I can I can already tell you Tell it's just, I ain't gonna, gonna say gonna Take after you If he, I mean if he do I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna see <laughs> You better way, teach him right Please more handsome than He I do would. like white girls right Oh okay I mean yeah It's just about telling Wes Get to the point It's about yeah, safe saying, Being safe bro Be safe Be safe 
and know what you're doing and also know that talking to me or talking to your mom is a is the safest and smartest thing you can do like so, I'm not understanding what if your son became a famous porn star how would you feel oh, yeah, he can't be a porn star Oh, you talking about when you get old? Well, okay. Well, I'm going to boy. How the dick drop? I'm gonna say whatever crap, whatever wow. crap you you decide to dabble in. Just, 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 just be who you are. Just be who you are. Just be the best at it, man. If you can do it, be the best at it. So, I'm gonna them so <laughs> if he came to you, if he came to you. It was talking to you and shit yeah. and say, oh, yeah, I'm practicing safe sex, but I'm just I'm just busting one down every day. <laughs> why are you talking about okay. that? Why, why are you talking about that? Because he's still a kid. No, okay, no, okay. No, he not, teenage not, time, not, I'm, I'm, I'm He been out ever cutting me Don't do that. Busting something down every day. Look, I ain't yeah. no, no. I ain't even fucking every day. You better shut the hell up. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, bro, I will eat nigga not. Jealous as hell. Monday, Monday, every day. Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah, we're not doing that. Nah, but. You got a book. Nah, but if he doing, if he talking about like, if he talking like that, I'm going to be like, I'm going to tell him like, Hey, bro, you need to. You really need to be focused on your studies and like this yeah. is the greatest time of your life. Yeah. Being in high school Both right here. Like, so deep, got? deep down, you ain't gonna congratulate him. No, I told like I said before on the on the other, uh, other episode. Like, I'm not finna sit here and be that dad that's like, oh yeah, you know, oh yeah, bro, he he bring a girl over. Yeah, y'all can go in the room. Y'all, I'm not gonna be that dad. You know what I'm saying? Because I do know that like. I do know that that's like that's really irresponsible. Like, Shit, I would. and really, I, if I had a daughter, I wouldn't want her going over. You know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. having sex in high school with just with Miles and and Jack and shit like that shit would <laughs> fucking piss me the fuck off. But like, like Miles sound like a fuck boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Miles do sound like a fuck boy. This nigga probably shooting guard and shit yeah. on the varsity. I tell him, I, I, they no, took I don't his girl that. one time. So, but anyways, <laughs> but. But yeah, I'm just gonna tell him, hey, if you got a girlfriend and y'all are uh, having sex, y'all can't do it here. But but you know what I'm saying? Like, just make sure that you being safe and and know what you're doing. Be smart. Do my mama did. I mean, my, my, my daddy what? did. What? Oh. Like. He- He'll just leave the house. Your daddy was a G, though. That's See, a that's why I'm glad I ain't had no son, bro, because I'm telling you, boy, I did, man, it'd be wild, boy. Mm. Reckless, boy. No, I can't do it. Reckless, because I went, I, I ain't gonna lie, boy, like, man, I let him, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather you, you hit out here, hit at the house than, you know what I'm saying, some just random place or, you that know what I mean? Let you just go in I don't room, want you hit, let's say you hit it. Something. Yeah, or you at his mama's house and the daddy walk in, walk in or the mom, whatever, they try to. That's I, shoot, that, that's you know what I mean? You know we done all been in that situation. That's so tough, bro. you know, that's that's why I'm so, glad. Yo, so okay, if they came to you and said, "I'm I'm fucking," you gonna you gonna provide a safe space for him to do his thing? If I had a son, I can't really speak on it because I don't. But it's it, I I could I would probably say that I would be like you know, man, you know, like I said, really imply safe sex. And if you just if this what you gonna be out here doing, all your education shit need to be on point before you think about getting any type of pussy. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, if your shit ain't A1, Thank you ain't getting no pussy. That's you know what I mean? He called but me if every your day shit. Talking about I'm doing this, this, and this. That means he not focused. Yeah, on you ain't. You focused on the wrong thing, bro. So yeah. let, if your shit is right, you know what I mean? And you being me, you know, I know you fine as hell. You know, so. Boy, I, boy. I, 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 would, I feel you on that. I would have to talk with him and be like, hey, man, you know, I'll let you have girls here, but this ain't, this ain't no whorehouse, my nigga. Get you a little girlfriend. If it ain't. You got one bitch per yeah. six weeks. I mean per <laughs> per, per six months. Per six months. Oh. Per six months. And you got the most two <laughs> chicks a year. Yo, they get I'm talking about semesters with that. They got, hey, they they got, they got progress and poor bitches. <laughs> hey, if the grades ain't right, she can't come back. She got a bitch on the card at the end of the month. If the grades ain't, hey, if the grades ain't right, she can't come oh, back, bro. Right. Oh, God. Per six weeks. Oh, God. And look, hey, daddy, I got one. Yeah, all right. Them. You got two hours. You better bring on over here. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm 100% with what Eric said. Yeah, that's how I feel. If I had a son. <laughs> that's say, I need your signature. Here's my new bitch. Right. <laughs> right. Hey, two, two, two got points. her name signed at the bottom. So she. <laughs> Uh, good. Oh this is how you handle business, God. son. See, now you teach them about business, teach them how life works. You yeah, know what I mean? This nigga. Nah, for sure. Yeah, I had to train them. Right. Sure. I think they would never forge your signature, ever. Hell, but they didn't bring a hole <laughs> happily every time. Every <laughs> daddy. <laughs> every time. I gotta do this homework so I can have them say, come on. Hey, it takes like, you know, I got an A, right? You know what that means, baby. You can. <laughs> Oh, come, no. on no. <laughs> you, you come on up. Come on up. You got to take that shit somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying not in my house. Dude. I'm saying. Because the one thing I would hate for is for her to parents to find out. And then we got to oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Not, 
Yeah. Well, they it, shit. I was, that's what I'm saying. You, you do what you do at the house, but <laughs> not in ass. this house. Y'all on the same page and shit? Oh, yeah, I told you. About you have the ace. They you some fucking pie. swingers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you pop that present. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> right. we need to get into the I don't like where this is going. Uh, we need to get into the music. <laughs> yeah, we, I, we losing it. We losing it. Let's get what to some happened? of these topics. Oh, oh God. We're not going to be here too long. <laughs> hey, y'all seen the new ATL trailer? Yeah, that was fire. No, I didn't watch that shit. What do y'all expect? I think it's going to be like one of them black movies that be coming out like on the side. Like, BET oh, no. BT Plus <laughs> Tell him, bro. I'm Ooh. dead serious that's, that's, the, that's the vibe I got from that's the trailer I was like DC Young Fly Gonna be in that hoe And they gonna be In a oh, it's low budget act- movie It's an actual trailer trailer yeah, I just saw trailer. I just saw them walking oh, Yeah that's all it was Now this I mean, a real not, trailer Not a movie trailer But like a promo like Yeah a little, that's, oh, what I, that's what I mean yeah. but I feel like it's gonna be Some BET movie shit Tyler Perry shit I have low expectations Very low It ain't gonna never be I hope it do well But I'm not Like you said I'm not expecting greatness I have they remaking it or it's a sequel? No, no, no. There's it's ATL a sequel. two. It's a sequel. Oh, they I got have all a... the same people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh then it yeah. might be fire. No, I, think I, I think it's gonna be fire, but I'm gonna have low expectations so that old as hell. I can enjoy it. I don't want to be thinking about the first <laughs> ATL no, and how great it was, and then thinking they gonna. Like, what the probably. What the hell are they gonna do this time? They old. I'm pretty, some old I'm pretty sure they're gonna take it a different I mean, direction. It could, it could be like 10, whatever. 20 years into the yeah, future. It could be That's what I'm saying. Jo- like JoJo said, it's gonna be like yeah. probably a couple new characters. And yeah, shit. they got open range. No, I'm saying like the plot because you had, exactly, but it's, you had I'm the skating. Shot, you had uh, the skating, then you had the drug aspect. Yeah, of, of I think they're gonna have kids, and like the kids gonna grow up in that same environment. But not even that. But what we're saying is, since it's a new movie, they can really go wherever. They you know what I mean? They can do whatever they want to. But the reason why my expectations are low because I think they're gonna go pretty much the typical route. It's gonna have some. Something to do with money, some probably do with robbery, some nigga shit. You know what I mean? Some, some hood shit. shit. So it's just like that's what I'm saying. Some BT quality movie shit. Cool. So, Somebody, yeah. one of them got out the hood, became a rapper. Ti mm-hmm. became a rapper, came back, mm-hmm. something like that. Uh, the other nigga, the the, the nigga with, with his hand in the with his broken. With, well, no, Ti T he was an artist. He yeah. was an artist, so yeah. he probably like did something with that. Or something. Yeah, something you know. They, what mm. 10, 15 years ago? That's that, true. That I just, yeah. It's totally off the Richter scale, but uh. Oh. I think they should make a hustling flow too. Boy. When DJ got out of jail. Hey, oh, hey, and then nah, well, I'm, I'm lost. he could have met old girl and she <laughs> turned into a man. Time, 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 time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Because y'all already know. I've only seen him one bro, time. And I don't even know. Oh, oh, talking about hustling oh. flow? I like your shoes, bro. I appreciate it. I that nigga Brian went out of the home. You seen hustling flow once? One time. Okay. Do you remember what happened? I'll take the one. Yeah, I seen him one time. No, I do. Do you know what remember what happened? I mean a little bit. I said I watched it on MTV, so. Oh, so yeah, uh, so commercials, commercials and shit. shit. Yeah, commercials. Uh, and, you know, you they, get but you know, DJ went to jail. White girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, she you didn't get be, the full effect. Let me hear you say you in charge. Okay. I'm in charge. They gotta have. They gotta have charge. her in the movie though. Hey, nah. I thought uh, Hustle and Flow was the prequel to what's that one TV show? Empire. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I'm <laughs> no, if they flipped it, it. Nah, no, real, bro. If they flipped it and like went to that route, that would be clean as fuck. Nah. That, that uh, makes sense. Ow, wait a minute. That though. could make sense. That that wait a minute. We own the like she changed her name to yeah. Cookie, and you know, cause she was having a baby. Oh. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, and then, like, right. they could do like the second part, like that nigga went back to jail or some but shit. Then this whole like, got out. Change? Oh, Terrence Howard always had the same accent. But they want that. Maine? It, 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 Come no, on, Maine. It wasn't this country. It, Shut it, the fuck it, up, Maine. <laughs> I, 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 I do like that idea. That's crazy. That you well, it, yeah, if, if it's like 10 years later, ten, yeah, he could lose an accent. I'm going to say that. Especially if he's in jail for most of it. Cause he kind of did. Then he go to no. Cookie went to jail. Well, yeah, when Cookie the TV really show starts, is the label already made, or does it like start them making? Money? It was uh, the label was already was made, here. but they kept yeah. flashback into how they oh, got to where they was they and shit. That's what I'm, no. I'm saying they can do like a flashback. Like he I got out, and then she ended up. I never watched. It would be I like he got before. out, then he was doing whatever he did, then she she go to jail for him, and then boom. It'll be. It'll have to be some amazing. It'll have it to be, be some. Is there a little uh, white Michael girl Bay? With I mean, in... Michael. What's his name? Oh, well, that's Michael the thing. Or uh, cornrows. So low expectation on ATL two. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping to do well though. Next. They dropped the Spider Man trailer and that excited me. Mm. That whole fire, man. I still haven't this, watched it. I ain't this, gonna cap. Now you know. You know that whole fire, you man. Know, I ain't even like the other I'm two. I'm a Marvelite, so. 
Mm-hmm. This bro is like blowing my mind because yeah, I'm they yeah. could do so I fucking think, much. Bro, I think they're going Dr. into uh, to, uh, 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 Spider Man the uh, multiverse after this one. Wow. Yeah, they definitely are. I think they're going to be Doctor that, Strange and what's the no, name? That, well, I'm talking about for the next Spider Man oh, yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. going to be the multiverse movie bring, like, after this. Like, it's going to be a whole bunch of shit, bro. This could bring Secret Wars, which y'all, I'm, I don't think no, y'all know what that is, but. It's yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, just, I I'm not even gonna say anything Marvel because this is y'all, y'all don't want to have dude, this conversation. Yeah, but <laughs> my mind can go it's like it's so, a so, dress for me. We can just go ahead and go on to the next topic. <laughs> yeah, but so um, I'm excited. Oh, I did hear that they trying to buy Sony and shit to get the full uh, aspect, Ooh, the full rights of a. Uh, I don't think that will ever happen, fun. but I think they they they're pl- they're playing really friendly right now. So I think Sony and Disney are like Come they're working out on some shit. So. I I don't. I, I'm not stressing that anything's gonna like tear it apart, but we don't know. So, but they're playing nice. So we'll see. Okay. I so doubt high, Disney would buy Sony. I high expectations that for that'd be good Spider-Man. for PlayStation. Uh, sure. No, it would not. Candyman. Sure. I do not want. I do I'm not, not want Disney owning PlayStation. No. <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm gonna go see Candyman though. I'm, no, I'm going to see that. I'm not gonna go like see it. that. I'm gonna like it. Even though the trailer came out. A year and a half. Wow, man, I, I swear, I, I ain't gonna lie. About a year ago, <laughs> a lot of trailers. I came think during the BT I Awards, I missed it. Like no bullshit. I went on Amazon looking for this shit. I'm like, nah, in 2020, bro, I know this movie came out by I now. I think it was we supposed didn't get to. Any movies. Yeah, it was yeah. supposed to, but it didn't. Correct me because of the, the oh, pandemic. No, yeah. I was just saying that the first trailer of this movie was like what 2019. Like, it was because it was during the BT like, Awards. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is this Jordan Peele like directed? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, because it's got the it's got that eerie, got that aspect. Yeah, what was it? Because he always he always it's flips he always flips thing. a sample in like his movies mm. in this movie. Oh like, yeah yeah yeah. Is uh, he Bills. New, is he the new horror horror uh no. film? Nah, no. they're not that good. Bro. He, he ain't I'm, got I don't want to give him that credit. Then we get it out. But yeah, I will give him, let me let me give him props <laughs> on this though. And he made good movies. I've seen a that. lot of scary movies that, to where I like kind of expect the scary part and shit like that. Oh, but something is, about yeah, something about his like with that eerie like weird feeling like that shit yeah. scared me. He makes like, he makes more. scary movies for me because I don't like horror movies, yeah. but I like scary. Y'all don't know it's creepy. Because, okay, did y'all yeah, watch conscious scary conscious, scary conscious scary? scary. But then you got to yeah, think about it though too. too. There yeah. are different types of horror. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Most horrors now, horrors. yeah, horrors. 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 <laughs> they're, they're most of them are like jump films. You know what I'm saying? Like, scary, yeah, scary things. So it's like the movie is pretty much built off of, you know, a jump factor. You know, yeah, when yeah. you can have also suspenseful movies, and I feel like Jordan doesn't really make movies to kind of be like a jump factor. You know, it's more of a, you know, creepy, like you said, an eerie yeah, vibe, yeah, He like definitely tells said. a story yeah, and exactly. then puts like, like a, a scary filter but over that's what it. I want yeah, that, that shit because I want to make more, somebody yeah, right, yeah. to where people are actually that. scared of this nigga again like yeah. I used to be scared of horror mm-hmm. movies but I also think he just he does a good job of casting mm-hmm. well because he I think do. all the people that he, he he gets in his movies mm-hmm. they play their roles very well because right. the dude is like, about that to play Candyman he's a good actor yeah, yeah, that was one thing about Get Out that was like really good was I just feel like everybody they casted in that movie he's able to bring like that unique that was fire to like the Told a lot about Black Set History. Genre. They don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so, right, bro. question: uh, What's the scariest movie of all time to y'all? I don't watch scary movies, so Jeepers Creepers. Oh, to me, two. Oh, Strangers. That shit was Strangers. scary. Huh? Strangers. No, yeah, I, I'm Strangers that pray at night. Mary, Mary Shaw was the scariest movie I ever seen. Oh, Dead Silence. Dead, Dead, Dead Silence, Silence was scary. Dead Silence. Dead Silence. Oh, I watched that shit at three in the morning one time. About that Dead Silence. That whole was scary, bro. Okay, the most recent one I saw, which. Y'all gonna probably laugh. Like, I ain't watched scary movie probably since Drag Me to Hill. I don't like about Boy, scary movies. Weak? Right. Weak as fuck. No. You know what's scary as fuck? Evil Dead, bro. The newer Evil Dead. Yeah, it was all right, but Boy, Boy Drag Me to Hell, that shit was. I seen pre- uh, Paranormal Activity weak. first and second one. I don't like those scary are, movies, but yeah, I would love to play. Me. I said Paranormal, like, Paranormal Activity was weak, bro. I know that's a little weird. Too. Nah, the first one was decent. The Insidious movie, that shit, like, I've seen some of that. That shit, that shit is scary. Mind up. Insidious, the first Insidious was scary. Mm-hmm. I'll say that. Because yeah. like, there was like a part where she walked outside, walked past the window, and some music was playing. She okay. walked back with a little boy in the house. Wow. Like, hell no. Nah. She like that oh, with yeah. that demonized shit. I can't fuck with Yeah, bro. demonized shit. I can do zombies, mm-hmm. like the fucking exorcism werewolves. shit. I that sometimes do get me the, the, the demon shit. I ain't because gonna lie. I, like I actually people, believe in I don't that. Like, shit. People, like they possess little kids and old people because them are the scariest things to look at. Yeah, demonized little kids and old fucked up. But that's how they get you though. They, they get through. They go through the kids. Like you remember that like, movie? Uh, what was it called? Legion. 
Yeah, that was a pretty good one. When like that hell, kinda, and, it was like the that apocalypse was so scary, or some shit. That kind of fucked me up, though. Yeah, that shit was kind of crazy. Kinda, with Tyrese and him in this shit, yeah, yeah that kind of fucked. Ooh, me he up. did a good job in that. I think he did. What about Ch- Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Mm, that's that's yeah. scary yeah. only because that's supposed Which to be. Weird. One? I don't like the one, one with Trey Jessica, songs in it though. The one with Jessica. Nah, I ain't talking about all. Oh, like yeah, the one with Jessica Bill was the best. The old first one or the first remake? The first one, the what? The first one. <laughs> no, the one that scared the well, no, because the was, 70s one and the 2000 yeah, was the one No, like different. the one where we know Okay, so 2000 you know, something babe, so well. That's what Jessica Biel yeah, yeah, The Jessica Biel one scared the shit Yeah, that shit was kind of scary Freddie versus Jason them niggas up. Nah. nah, that shit was weak, bro I don't know It, it wasn't weak it's cool It was just me. It was cool to me Like, I don't really watch movies like everybody else So it's just like like well, I don't really watch how people watch it So it's just like I can't really say I don't watch movies to get scared I kind of watch it for a movie so it's just like I can just say if they good and I haven't been scared. I do, you know what I mean by a movie and like cause I, I watch I it for the movie, like but I also watch it to get scared. Like I want that motherfucker to scare me, cause I, I watch a movie like Insidious. Yeah. I watch this shit three in the morning, in, alone in my apartment. Yeah. Why? Though? Why three <laughs> yeah, yeah. in the morning though? Why yeah, can't just nigga? Watch that's the scary. I've, that's, wrong with you. I want it to scare me. Like three in the morning is all. Yeah, I'm watching it at three. Man. That's the scariest time. Yeah, with yeah, it. Nah. <laughs> I be doing that shit. Like, I turn on shit like that all the time. Bed, Smoking a blunt. Three o'clock the next day. I turn on that shit like all the time, man. You turn on yeah, a good ass. That's why I do. Like, I have to put on like a good ass scary movie to go to sleep. Like, I do, bro. How just do put that what shit. What the fuck? Y'all what the fuck? Talking, I'll be that's dead good, sleep. Too. How do y'all do that, I think that, we talked bro. about this on the podcast. I got to put it on a cartoon. No nah. okay. Bro, it's been times like I done woke up. Like I told we had talked about dreams and shit before. It's been times I done been, like I put on scary movie. I go to sleep. And then like in my dream, like. I can hear the movie and like how I'm envisioning. I'm painting the whole picture in my mind of how this person getting killed. Like motherfucking yeah, ass cut up. Uh, and then I open up my eyes and look at the TV and it's that exact shit. Like motherfucker, like I'm like, damn. Oh, you know, I see, scared yeah. the fuck out of myself when yeah, like, I can't heard some shit in my apartment. Something wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> something is wrong with that. Nah, that's not normal. I was watching a scary movie. So I heard some in my apartment. I think it was the air. And I was asleep. So I woke up out of that. You heard the I could have sworn. Cesar said stay somebody. alive. Like the air came on and shit. Cesar said stay alive. Yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, I absolutely. seen somebody standing in the Stay corner, alive. but it was my limp. I was tripping. Oh, some weird shit. Fuck all that. But <laughs> my one I thing I can say is I don't care about what I fall asleep to, but the TV has to be at a certain level. It do. Like, it can't be, like, super loud. Like, I got to still be able to hear what's going on. That got to be house. on, like, 25. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody Hell pop up, no. if some shit go down, like, yeah. I still got to be able to hear what's going around mm-hmm. in the house. I don't know, I don't like, I know when my TV is off. Like, if that hoe go off, I cannot, I'm gonna know. I cannot sleep with the TV on. If it's if, if it's at a, if while I was watching and it's loud, I have sleep paralysis. And I, don't I like hate that shit. I I sleep like paralysis that shit is, is scary. Is I don't like close to death. Do I hate. I'm low, <laughs> je- I'm low key jealous of DJ because I don't know how he do it. The he way that nigga follows, bro. I'm so talking fast. That's how it's I be. freaky, bro. I literally I hate. I'm like, bro, you remember I'm that time we, we was talking to that nigga one night and he was he just passed no, out. He literally, bro. Mm. And the song, bro, like, how the fuck you and be bro. knocked huh? out? I'm My talking. He be, it took me at least thirty minutes to settle down and then go. I gotta to get comfortable. Mm-hmm. I have to get comfortable. Bro, nah, I stay still I'm longer than ten sleep. minutes. I'm out of there. Yeah. Be upside down. Bro, I will tell you, and me was talking sleep. to my my daddy one time, like in the living room. I swear to God, I bullshit you not. We talking to him like a normal conversation. Mm-hmm. We looked at the TV. And look back, he was asleep. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm like, what the fuck? Wild. My granddad used to do that shit. He used to piss me off. We'd be having a whole conversation too. I'd be like, yeah, so the, the Giants. Won't... All right, nigga. <laughs> yeah, just let up. That's that good sleep. Though. They they peaceful That's sleeping like that. But that yeah, is, I I don't. I be jealous, bro, because I be want to go sleep fast. I be Ooh. trying to force myself to sleep. Oh, Boy, I need to do that. that. But now, nah, yeah, back to uh, <laughs> back to scary movies, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> shit, nah, I'm trying to stay on topic. I'm trying to stay on topic, but right. nah, man, that shit. I don't know. It's just it's it, like I said. I look at it for being Jeez. good. So it's just been a while to me since I they just put out a truly scary ass fucking movie. I think you know the what I mean? Genre, let's be honest. The genre is kind of I wouldn't say played out, but it it's not much. You can really do with a scary movie, mm-hmm. and that's why we kind of praise. Bro, it's so George much Pierce you can being do. able to yeah. bring a new wrinkle to that genre. Because let's right. be honest. You get you get a monster. You get the get the, uh, the the girl. You get the guy that. Saved okay, the, let me put it to you yeah, like this. Like that. Like, you did okay. Do y'all know about Jeepers Creepers three? I don't give a fuck about. Yeah, that shit was kind of. I have seen that weekend. I've never seen Jeepers. Mm-hmm. That shit could have been so good. You never seen the first one? 
What? I, I seen the first one. I didn't see the second one. Nope. If that wasn't a white movie, I saw my favorite thing is the zombies though. <laughs> like anything with zombies, in, I'm fucking with that shit. I don't think I don't like them low grade ass zombie movie where they be doing them on the iPhone. Fucking uh, sci fi. Yeah, sci-fi I hate that shit. Like you got to be an official like zombie movie, like for real. But I that's my I'm favorite like, shit is like zombies. I be trying to get into The Walking Dead, but I just nah, can't not that too bullshit. Long. The Walking Dead was great. I like yeah. to see senseless killing. I don't it's really like too much story on behind it. I'm sorry. Dawn of the Dead was good. What the fuck? Yeah, it definitely was it? wasn't just senseless. Right, we gotta talk about this shit. It's a great storyline. What there. happened? Especially like the I first could, six I seasons. Just I couldn't get into topics it. right. Sorry, I ain't mean to spoil y'all. Nah, shit. nah. Go ahead. But, just uh, John F. Kennedy's killer is eligible for parole. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? Nigga, that was 30 some plus years ago. I don't give a it fuck. It don't fucking matter. He killed the fucking president. I'm going to say, if you kill the president, if you assassinate the president, I don't but see that how don't you can get, get, get out. I'm about to say, he eligible for so parole. So this nigga did this and shit he that gotta, you can. He got to be can, in his 80s at this point. 77. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm saying like, what's crazy is you can do some shit that is fucking hard to fucking do. Yeah, but okay, serve your time, it. and now you finna live out the rest of your days did free. He get, did he get life or like twenty five to life? Long. He might have like six years. I left. actually don't know what he was. Because if he got twenty five to life, that's really not shit. Twenty five years, mm-hmm. that's nothing. He should have been sentenced to death. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah, you gotta but, be sentenced to death. I'm, I'm with DJ. On no, I feel you. I agree with you, but I'm saying the fact that he out not really a surprise to me. You think if someone assassinated the president today, they can get hell? Bro, bro, that's that's what I think. That nigga's done. But I mean, it doesn't depend. I don't think he was. That's like literally crazy. But back then, when he did that, they probably didn't. Nobody ever did. Yeah, they thought nobody ever did. That's what I'm saying. saying. If somebody did it now, you would think they never got out of jail. But 30 years from now, I'm about to say, bro, 25 to life, not that long. But he still got to get it approved anyway. So that too. They say he got it. That's crazy. This one, oh, oh, it's like he granted pro. He was, he was granted pro, like he, But then you gotta think it's, Even it's if you get parole You still gotta granted, be on like yeah. or something. Y'all think he's You're still, gonna be on something Y'all think he's still dangerous Like no. he seven, 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 uh, dangerous. I don't feel like he was dangerous He was more of a person That was trying to make a point And did something That's how stupid. I feel It just went so Backfired What is my kid by And then what He's trying to make a point Being stupid He's gonna be He gonna be Oh what do I think What happened to him Nah, what? He, he gonna definitely die, but he'll be in the history book. Let me ask y'all this. Nah, though. I probably think they do the same thing. I, I don't think they. I don't think they would uh, probably yeah, give him the out, best sentence. He'll do a couple of interviews. There'll be some documentaries. Yep. that'll come out. They'll, yep. they'll be, he gonna he make gonna somebody be a rich man. His family gonna be rich. That ain't fucking fair. That's how the world. That's the world we that's live in. That's the world we live in. That's the world we live in, bro. Let me ask y'all this though, because there's a conspiracy, like that he worked for the mob, right? And like he had to take the fall for it, but could they? Could um, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. John F. Kennedy was about to expose a lot of people. Yeah, I suppose. That's why he was to. Uh, like he was supposed to do a lot of shit. Mind. He was supposed to change a lot. Nah, because he was really on some like helping black people yeah. shit. Like, like he was on he was about to whole other a shit. A lot of, mm-hmm. lot of Nigga, different. De- mm-hmm. You don't blow the somebody's head off mm-hmm. in the middle of the street for in nothing. Houston. For nothing. Yeah. For nothing. That yeah, of so, course he was finna do something. Yeah, I mean, exactly. about but to, think about it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's finish because I got. I got a scenario. He was about to expose like different. Uh, sorry. It was good. Uh, different uh, departments of, of the government was about to get exposed. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of shit. And I, I, and, and to take it there too, I think also uh, if I believe it or not, he lo- he knew a lot of Area Fifty One shit also. Like he was one of the presidents because not all presidents know about it. He was one of the yeah, presidents okay. that, yeah, was, that knew uh, about what was going on and, and then, shit. Uh, his campaign was sponsored by the mob too. So ain't no telling. I'm just, just throwing it out there. Everybody do your own Googles because mm-hmm. these niggas yeah. don't know shit. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, right? No, just that's, that's a fact check. Fact check. Fact I, check. Thought, I really thought his name was, I thought it was Lee Harvey Oswald. Wasn't it him? Oh, no, that was, uh, Lincoln. I think that was, <laughs> the person that, that was killed. Look. That was Lincoln, right? Yeah, that was the person that killed Abraham Lincoln, ain't it? Yeah, this was Henry, Henry something. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, what I was gonna say is, so like we just took it there, to the conspiracy theory. Yeah, yeah. What if somebody's motive? What if somebody did kill the president? It don't have to be Joe Biden. It have to be. It could be anybody. The president. If they killed the president and their whole reason was, I just, I just want my family to be all right. Like his wife has cancer. He doesn't have, you know, means like he, he has a perfect story of being down bad. So. As he kills the president, he go to jail or whatever they do with him. But, you know, they make the documentaries. They make the movies. They make all that shit to where somebody got to get paid for it. His family. You know what I mean? Which is every he, he putting 
you know, money for his wife to get the chemo, you know, kids. Essentially, how do y'all feel kill- about that? Yes. Okay. Well, I hate to give such a surface level answer, but you can't kill the president. Of course, of, agree. So, but that's what I'm saying. How do you feel about that? If that was his, if that was his wife, you still you still can't do it. You still can't do it. Honestly, like, a, like, yeah, you can't take it that far. I feel sorry for you, definitely. There's a like, shit ton of things you can do like, <laughs> to make a statement, you know. So, you're, wait, but then wait, 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 you your, your wife and basketball. children are hungry, so you decide to kill the president. You would say you really just took food out their mouth. Ooh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the only time like, you kill, like, a, I'd rather go rob like a bank. It's like, you set it off, shit. Oh, so yeah, so uh, Donda Kanye, very listening party. How y'all feel about that? I didn't get the so I, thought feel. It was I heard he made some changes oh, is, and did uh, some uh, some, some ex- extreme stunts. I didn't know he set his his ass on fire. Yeah, he set himself on fire, and literally, I'm not even joking. Like, like it was maybe like ten minutes later, but uh, he reenacted the wedding with Kim. I was about with, to say, what's, Kim, the, what's the whole thing with the Kim thing? Bro? Uh, it was just part of like the whole presentation of like because they're trying to say it's like yeah. a re- re- reconciliation. They like, trying to get no, back no, and like. Uh, some of the writing process had to do, had to do a lot with uh, his divorce and things he was going through. Like he even has lyrics about like losing his family and stuff like that. So I think she just helped him, assisted him, and like That's given not... the presentation of okay. just like reenacting. That's gotta be so weird. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. They like, have you, like that's that's gotta be so. You're awkward, talking about though. two billionaires. They don't give a fuck about that shit. I'm about to say. That's not awkward to them. How is it not? It, how would it not? First of all, this thing is weird as fuck. They understand. They understand. Yeah, that's some shit he do. She understands uh, the level Kanye is doing his shit at. He's doing his shit at the highest level. So her yeah, reenact first firsthand. Yeah, they, she. They she, still. She, they her still reenacting like, the wedding with Kanye for like the whole world to see. Like that's nothing to them. Bro. But they God, still cool though, right? I believe the field. So it's so weird. I believe the field. I don't want to speak on. But what I want to ask y'all, okay. Taking the three listening parties, right? I don't know what happened in the first one, but I know the second one he ascended in the earth. This, the third one he set himself on fire. Do y'all feel like that's like a a message or like a coal, correlation to each other? <laughs> that's what I was asking you earlier about the Heaven and Hell song. Did you see that part? No, I didn't. Mm-mm-mm. So I got to go back and watch it. Yeah, go back. Uh, you can, it's on the listening that. You can party? Google that specific part. Like, so you got a song. One is he rising and the other one he- not necessarily on that like part of the video, but the song itself and the song title, I was like, oh, it kind of that on that song, like he ascended in on Heaven and Hell and he caused some fire on Heaven and Hell. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just saying the song itself is called that. But, but, but I'm with you in the fact that maybe that has something to do with the album itself, coming coming from you know the wicked to the saved and shit. It could. This yeah, so long. I want. I do want to thoroughly watch him because I feel like he's he's actually he's saying with something. these yeah with these mm. three listening parties he's he's we're probably missing the whole story. Mm. As I'm saying yeah. he's probably I forgot um, what it's called. Like it's a it's a phrase for what he's doing. But I can't yeah, remember. I could wait till the album come out and then you know the people online let them decipher it and judge from there. <laughs> I do. I, I do yeah. want to. I'm, let I'm them do their job. Let the trolls do their job. I do want to hear this hoe. I think DJ was right in the point he was making last week about what these listening sessions really are. You know, it's it's a different it's a different innovative way to like market your album. Like that's what doing, I was thinking. Like it's a marketing. Uh, yeah, doing like a tour of like you know here here here, and this is what the album sounds like. Like it's di- it's it's different, and I do I do think it's still like. Kind of hurts him a little bit. Not that sales really matter. It's all about the quality. But um, I know he cares about his number. So unless he's like got two hundred songs in the vault and he's just playing shit, like I do think it kind of hurts but, his numbers. A well, bit. to your point, like I feel like it don't hurt his numbers because you see how he that's what I'm saying versions out of that uh, Jay Z. He had yeah. Jay Z verse. He had the baby. Mm-hmm. So we don't know. Yeah. Which you know, we I mean, might get his, we might get that one, we might get both. So we kind of, kind of like it's not gonna mess his numbers up. I don't think like it, people yeah. still gonna buy. I think buy we all anticipating this shit to be fire, but I just nobody knows except. Nah, for him. I, I actually like every time I watch it, I'm like, I want to hear it. It's it's like the songs are fucking incredible. They are, and I'm yeah, not even I'm a Kanye like, fan like that. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't, you know, saying yeah. I ain't yeah. bobbing my head he, and shit. Nah, he is rapping more than I expected. Yep. Rap life, but uh, 
you know, I feel like with these listening parties, he's. I do kind of feel like he's like getting the crowd reaction, so he know like, okay, oh, oh, they like when the beat drop, like, oh, okay, so he like. I could see oh, him doing that too, though. Man. That'd be fire. So yeah. he getting his album gauging off of you know the listening parties, and then gonna give it all to the match. Who's who said Drake coming out next week? I sent that to the chat on Sports that, Center. Supposedly, there was, yeah. uh, hopefully he do. There was like a little like it was random. They were showing highlights, and then he popped up with like a little cardboard sign that said CLB September third. So yeah, that's what they're saying. So supposedly the word is now that they supposed to be dropping on the same day type shit. Supposedly Kanye. Now that I do want to see because that would be Drake is supposed to be so you think he go two for two? What do you mean? You think he go two for two? <laughs> what Kanye? Kanye this what I'm saying. Uh, Ooh, you ain't even saying who. This is what I. This is what I think. Oh. I was supposed to know. I make nigga. That's two for give, two, nigga. Yeah, I'm but a, 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 versus who? I forgot all about that first bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bull, that one. That was that one bullshit. That was not. That's what I'm saying. I forgot about that. No, no, I'm saying no. That was the biggest thing. That wasn't bullshit. That was a big. At that time, not saying it wasn't, but I'm saying is he beat him so bad. I forgot about that bullshit. That's what I'm saying. Okay, but it was it was a good. That was the first time. I agree. Ever. Yes, it was a it was an epic ass moment. I agree. It was on one hundred six apart. I got to answer to answer his question. This is what I was I was thinking. I do think Drake is going to do more numbers, but I do think Kanye is going to do better than people expected. If that makes sense, mm-hmm. you know what no, I'm saying? I like I think Drake is in his prom, and I feel like Drake knows that this. Album is very important to his catalog and the way we view him as he's getting ready to go into legendary status mm-hmm. with Kendrick and Cole. So he knows this is, has to be the one. Kanye, not in his prom, but I do feel like he's trying to get back in the good graces of the listeners. So I feel like he's putting his one of the best foot fours I've seen him put together in like a decade, to be honest. Mm-hmm. So, I think, like, though, yeah. he do. He has a massive following, so he has no problem selling. Also, question I have for y'all. Okay. If Drake wasn't from Canada, do you feel like it will be, if they would have came out on the same day, like if he was from the United States like Kanye, do you feel like it will be better? Because Drake has the international thing just because he's from Canada. Well, not yeah, from I'll tell you Kanye. one. I'll tell you one. Kanye, 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 Kanye has more feedback. overseas uh, following yeah. than Drake. But you have off top. I ain't gonna lie to you. you have one more vote just off top of me. Like I ain't gonna tell you. I ain't gonna lie. Like I'm real biased against Drake just off the fact that you ain't American, motherfucker. So she. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I didn't I know that. I don't like. That, that was a big surprise. That, to that's, be honest. That's, that's, that's not the real reason. Really like, I wasn't that's ready not the real reason, but that's part of the reason. You, you ain't don't like American. that you from Canada? No, you're not American, nigga. You're not American. So what? He a you, great rapper. I don't, I don't like the fact that you coming over here dominating, like what not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like motherfuckers so go over to Canada with that. So therefore, you're a hater. That's why right? he talking about the art and and and, and put art. I respect your you're art, but take that shit to Canada. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> take that a, shit back to Toronto. That's the definition of a hater. You know what I'm saying? Take that shit back to Toronto. Put Toronto on. Put Toronto on his music. He really you did. Know what like mean? But I'm right. saying not not onto America. Put it on to Canada. Make make oh, make a music mecca in 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 Canada. I see what he's saying. He I mean, did. Justin Bieber no, got that. No, that's no, not no. What he he did. did. He did come here first, then go back. Yeah, that's no, what I'm saying. Did. I'm well, saying well, make shit. a music mecca and can't let Canada also be known for music too. Not you come over here. You I know what I mean? Like, no, I'll see. This why I disagree. Because no, first of all, all United, first. United so, States okay. was is the reason that Drake is this way. Because what are we? The land of opportunity. So he came his ass over here and, and took the opportunity to be a big ass mega star. And then he, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm so a mega star in the United States. Americans state. ate this shit up. Yeah. And look at him now. That's I mean, Lil Wayne. I, I can't argue. Lil Wayne signed himself. I can't argue. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But shit. Stay American. <laughs> All right. Speaking of American nigga named but no. Kendrick Lamar. We ain't even, you ain't finna answer the question for everybody. Yeah, I did. did, bro. Who are Brian to answer it? I, I don't know what question you're talking about. Okay, good. All right, fuck it. Go ahead. Kendrick Lamar <laughs> dropped a single with Baby King called "Family Ties," which I think his verse was incredible. Same. Incredible. He ate that whole thing. I'm talking Nick Cannon type shit. It was incredible. Oh, tell him. Oh, okay. That's what he did. Oh, they weren't ready. Right. Life is hard. No, I'm mad at Brian. Oh, we ain't gonna put Nick Cannon and Kendrick Lamar in the same oh, sentence. Nick, 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 hey, Nick blew his hoe up. Bro. I'm not gonna lie. This actually made. He could, bro. He, 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 could. he actually is my favorite artist after I Who? heard this. Who? Kendrick Lamar. He's your favorite? I can't yeah. say that. 
Nah. He he's fucking amazing. I, nah, I don't he cold give, as fuck. I don't give a damn. Yeah, I like Jay yeah, Cole. He's Kendrick, number one but, to me. Yeah. yeah. Same. I fuck with Kendrick though, tough, but and what was, who was that in here that you, said that Drake is more versatile than Kendrick? You know damn yeah, sure I ain't me. say that shit. <laughs> I'm sure tired of that lobby and spread. I don't think nobody said that. Did y'all did y'all but, hear you know all the questions we've been asking where Kendrick at, why he not talking about it? But you just see how he just put that in the verse, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that shit was like fucking. That was that was lyrical. Was he been Who doing that shit though. He been doing that shit. That's he shit. always okay. he, he, he always been talking yeah, about his that was life. Musical science right there. Oh, it was though. It was musical science. Yeah, I feel like when you when you finally admit that Kendrick. Oh yeah, let's go to Joe. What you think? I don't think he's necessarily better, but I would definitely impress. I didn't even know you said no shit like that. You said Drake is better. I never than said Kendrick. nobody. I never. First of all, one, I never said nobody was better than either. Kendrick. I said they all three. No, no, no. Drake, no that's not so true. you feel like Drake that's is the same not. as that's Kendrick true. Lamar. Said that. You never honest, said honest, that. Honest, no, even if he is saying that, you saying okay. Drake is the same as Kendrick Lamar? That's what you saying? No, here we go. 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 Everybody, Kendrick, Drake, J Cole, rank them right now. Joe, go first. What are we? Are we doing our favorites or who's better? We t- we talking about objectively who's better? Who's better? Oh, wait, uh, I'm gonna go Kanye, one a. Kendrick. Ooh. No, no, one a, one two <laughs> no. three, one two three, one, one, one a, two, one two three. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> go ahead, Joe. Now, me for me personally, who I think honestly is better, if I'm just being hundred percent honest, we I, I would probably off great. off of skill. I would go. I'll, I'll probably go Kendrick. I, if, if I'm being real, then I would go Drake then J Cole. If I'm being honest, but I feel I, I do feel like at Sorry. times, and I do feel like at times Drake it, it takes over uh, it takes over that position at times. Like when he's oh, really oh. in a, when he's really in his bag. No, let's be, let's be All real. Right. Nigga, no, please. no, no. I feel like <laughs> no, no. a lot of people would agree with Joe. I don't, but I feel like no, a lot of people. No, would Drake agree gets with Joe. to that flow where. It's like kind of I'm not gonna say like Drake don't go hard, like but it, like I can't. But not Drake for that a reason though. I no, feel like for whatever I, reason, Drake just I don't know. Like it's just like he can. He can he's he's he has the talent to make a song. You know what I mean? Like versus and I don't feel like my problem with Drake also is I just feel like I don't feel like that's a that shouldn't be such such it shouldn't be such a credible creditable talent. Like just the fact that you can make a song that people wanna you know what I mean, like versus actual talent because at the same time I feel what you're saying. You I it's hard to explain you like he's in no, the business of selling albums. You do no, that. I'm right. not gonna lie, right. he, he going, he get, you get out of pocket. Yeah, you're getting weird. So I, I ain't gonna lie. I feel yeah. what he's saying, but yeah, y'all yeah, right. Yeah. I'm gonna go and this I, his I, opinion. I wanna man. say this comment about Kendrick. I go I do I agree with you, Kendrick, Drake, J. Cole. Thank you. The reason why <clears throat> I put Kendrick up there. I was actually just fucking was listening to um, what the fuck was uh to Butterfly right? No, was it Duckworth? Oh, Duckworth. Okay, that okay. was the last song of his album. Right? Oh damn, yeah. This nigga said I'm gonna start backwards, and he went backwards yeah. on the song, and then at the end, what he reversed what that all just, the songs. You just, you just, you just realized boy, that, huh? hey, that shit was fire. So he man. reversed all the songs on the album. To the number one song yeah, That, that shit, shit just, was just, incredible just realized that, like, No I'm just saying like You know Like that level of uh, Creativity of lyricism, Like, yeah. like yeah. he had Like he can mm. His projects are so like Out this world To make you like Really sit there and think like You really did this right. shit did you Oh yeah And, and like his um his cadences and his, yeah. his yeah. different yeah. What's, what's his the, different um, the way he can switch up his flow and yeah. go into like yeah. the, 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 the whole voice inflection on, on the spot. Said, amazing, uh, Drake, J Cole, then Kendrick. Now, I'm gonna say, he, but he did say he was he light skin. He go light skin. Now, I, I will say, I put <laughs> my <laughs> first was oh, J Cole, oh. then it was Kendrick, and then it was Drake. Okay. I say okay. J Cole, I who? J Cole, Kendrick, Drake. Okay. No, I, and and I respect it. So. You're not sir. wrong, in my opinion. Nobody okay, said, you know, so you think? So why you think that? Well, I just I felt more where J Cole was coming from, cause like at the beginning, I didn't, I really didn't fuck with him, cause I was fucking, I was fucking with Kendrick more, mm-hmm. and then I listened to like Who That and like all the other songs J Cole started with, and I was like, okay, I feel that shit. Jesus, but more, more in tune with J Cole. Yeah. Than, uh, okay. Makes but Kendrick, sense. Kendrick just he be doing other shit. Bro. I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie, I like J Cole. It's my problem with him is just we're gonna get we're gonna get the same. I like storytellers though. That's that's oh, why I what? like him. Okay, he's a great say? storyteller. We're gonna get the nah, same he, meal. Nah, 
all his I if you listen to if you listen to come the same no yeah, if you I, listen you to all the his albums no. they're all the same no. like you know the same like premise shit. yeah it's all the same level dude i i can't agree with that but I'm, I'm gonna say no, this. I'm gonna uh, say I'm gonna pick it back on DJ saying my only issue with J Cole is that he doesn't collaborate. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't feel like that right there. When he produces his own albums, it's just not as good as if he would have like worked with other you know people and made a, a project. Now I will say he should. Yeah. He, he didn't need to work with nobody on For Your Eyes Only because that was just that no, was he incredible. Needed to work with somebody. But it, no, it was, now it I would say nice, his though. next album, I, I suggest he do. Like I feel like he should. Now he didn't have a lot of people. Uh, how did he have a lot of people on uh, for his, uh, uh, on that album? I don't think he. No, had he didn't have a lot of people. But I mean, that was three or four people too, on for his. That shit was fire. I just I thought Kod could have been a lot better, and it I thought Four Your Eyes could have. But I mean, he liked Four Your Eyes, so. I just like the story it told throughout yeah. the. I just album. like I told DJ one time. I just give artists extra credit for being experimental. And uh-huh. stepping outside yeah, the box, but still going I hard. I that Cecil. And I think Kendrick does that better than than Drake and J Cole, like by a mile. You know what I'm saying? Like to be in 2021 and be discovering new flows, that really means mm-hmm. that you've been tapping in. So, mm-hmm. like, I I, I, I got to give Kendrick the nod on that. Every album want... he comes out with no, is, bro, a, is a different persona, it's a different <laughs> message, and he's not confining yeah. to what. Like I'm not making a radio. I'm not making a pop star. I'm not making a mm-hmm. whatever Drake was putting that. Like, I but like Drake, because that's what it is to me. To me, it's just yeah. like it's it's a it's a whatever it wants to be. Like it's not really a like. That's why I feel like with Drake, people don't really call it what it is. That's why I say you good at making songs. You know what I mean? Like yeah, well, see, you can make songs, but I at the same different. time, like as far as like. He lyrically, not different. saying you lyrically, but lyrically, like what are you talking about? You know what I mean? Like, I see not saying you're not say spitting, that. but at the same time, with Kendrick, you dropping heat and you talking about some real shit. You know what I mean? With Cole, you dropping heat and you talking about some real shit. But with Drake, it's just like at the same time, you know what I mean? You talking about some song shit. You talking about some shit that would go with the song, not so much of a. But I feel, a, I feel you. But I feel like Drake go into different flows, and it's like. I wouldn't say effortless. I, yeah, I don't agree with you at all because I feel like Drake is one of the main, one of the best niggas at making songs or finding a song that, like, can relate to you. Like he's 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 mm. he's great at using his own experiences and making and telling you feel a story it. Better at that to way. make you feel he like better at that on his R and B side. Something though. just like I think he's way better at that on his R and B side than his rap side. He's okay. definitely a people. He doesn't get enough credit for that. He's definitely an artist for the people. Yeah, that's not what we're that's, saying. Though. That's, that's what he We're is. We're talking about artistic range. He's not on Kendrick. No, no, okay, no. He might not be on the range. Well, no, we, he needs more credit. I know what he's talking about. He needs more credit because Drake does go to, like, he could take, like, somebody else flow and damn near do it better than them. Like, not give Drake a lot of credit. He, 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 no, I, I can't say that. Like, trendy. That's what I'm saying. That's but what he does it so easy. Like, like, okay, so what, what I first said was to go with what Eric said, where he said that Drake is, like, the least, the one saying the least shit out of the three of them. Which I don't yeah. necessarily agree because I think all of his songs have very much context because like you. he goes very deep into. But compared to them, though, no, no, oh, but you know but, what I no, mean. But, uh, so, I can't no, say that. You used to call me what, on my cell phone. No, but what I'm saying is those. you're talking about specific hits. Oh, now yeah. everybody I, I does that, but what I'm saying is yeah. oh. you you're th- you're friends. saying okay, Kendrick has like more, I guess, political subject matter and. What they talk about is different, but to say Drake isn't saying things like is to say that other topics aren't just as important but like he he's he's just as lyrical as as most of these niggas that's why he's top three okay. because he does be saying shit yeah. it's just not always about just because you're saying shit about feelings or whatever doesn't necessarily he has, yeah. he's not talking that like you can me, still you still, yeah, I you get still what you're saying, saying. that's i feel like that's my problem but with it's just I, like it's more of a like it, as far as to like Importance, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah you talking about so, feelings, but, now, but at the on. same time, you talking about but some. As far as artistic wise, I definitely agree. I put Kendrick I first because if if you're talking about artistic wise, I look at it like this: I see Drake and J Cole as like great, amazing painters mm. yeah. when it comes to like how they mm. rhyme. So you, but then okay. Kendrick is like out here just sculpting shit. Like this nigga is three. Kendrick is on some like, like he Roman takes, takes a whole like, year mm, to like. Mm. Put shit Cause like damn together. was damn uh, question like, though. What the fuck? It was like damn question no, for the masses. 
if Drake was to do a all rap album, no yeah, singing, fucking fire, because okay. the singing is I can't say obviously what fire, puts bro. him up there. No. Just all rap. I can't say that. Y'all feel like he can hang with. Yeah, no, hundred percent. No, I will say, I will say yes it. because listen to this. I can't. Hundred percent. The, the way because I was just about to mention this too. The way Kendrick paints his like his flow every time, you can almost equate it to singing. Like this nigga will go through characters mm-hmm. in one verse. Mm-hmm. Like in that song, he literally mm-hmm. went from okay, like. Now you, you who are you talking to? No, he's white. Now. No, no he's right, so, nigga. And it's just like Drake can't doing do it. this. Oh, this, this like nigga, this, this, that. listen, this nigga that's literally, right. this nigga literally, I I heard it in the song, and I was like, what the fuck? This nigga literally did a flow where he was like, I freak, I don't know if it's perfect because it's I only listened to it one time, but he was like. And then literally, like in the next place, like, and he like turn it to like a totally different, mm-hmm. like so, something totally different yeah, octave and different flow. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like the way the way you're flowing, mm-hmm. you're painting, you're taking just mm-hmm. as much time to like mm-hmm. put octaves and stacks in the way it like in like his hey, sonic. He's saying some real shit. He's saying some real shit. Kendrick, he's some real shit. Okay, what Drake does is is the melodies. Yes, like the singing, the one track singing. Kendrick does the layered singing and then he does the voice inflections as well. But what he's saying is you've already thought about that to map that out if he's having this conversation like like for example the the what he did it's with different. uh what he did with Wayne, the whole uh uh um, Mona Lisa? Yes. Perfect example. How he was talking back and forth to himself, gotta, just saying painting that picture. I got a of, better example. No, that's what I'm you, saying. Drake, the song Drake by can't Kendrick, do that. Yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. What pocket does Drake have that's on that level? And that's he, the point. That's, so that's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. Drake, Drake don't have that. Do that. That's what oh, he's okay, saying. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that's we, a we point. We on the same page. You just lost it too. I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Kendrick takes like he almost is like rapping, but then singing at the same yeah. time. Yeah, where it's yeah, like Drake is like Drake can't do that. Sing. And I be trying to tell people that. Drake can sing a Kendrick will like sing a song, and he can't. If he sing a song, he cannot rap it now. What got me though? This thing is Kendrick will take a verse and rap in that hoe. I'm not gonna say that because I I am wrong. He can't rap in that hoe. But Drake, but y'all realize Drake on every album he always has a song on that where he leaves Earth, like rapping where he leaves Earth, like. That's why I'm with you. But that's why but I'm with you. He's like, metaphorical. That's why I'm with you. For some reason, it always be close to the end, like of the one album. song, though. Mm-hmm. That's what we say. I mean, more than one, more than oh. one. But no, that's I'm why I do like, believe Drake can do a wrong. He literally rapper. like that song is specifically for that. Like, yeah. Drake just says, "Fuck this shit." I'm gonna yeah. show niggas I can rap. I'm gonna sing. Yeah. Let me be clear. I always wow. defend Drake. I always defend Drake when you know the whole Meek Mill like Ghost Rider shit. Don't get Drake fucked up. Drake can rap. I'm not saying he can rap as good as anybody in the game. But he 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 lean, but he knows he has to like pander to, to that side of him. Like he do, why, he do. I think that's what a writer because he did do. kill in yeah. ransom. Like his early shit, he was killing yeah. that shit. But I ain't gonna. Even but I think it. like if he had like like say for instance like the views album, the, the song views. Yeah, I'm about if he if he would have had like ten of them, hey, right, yeah, he hey. would have been fucking shit up, bro. Well, I, I feel like, like if it just came down to it and Drake had to make an all rap album, you know what I mean? Like I just don't feel like. He no, like because he now, oh. because now, okay, let's keep it real. Are we? Uh, every song you know what I mean? He did kill what? Him. What are we expecting now? You know what I'm saying? So because if he all rapping, what's he going to be rapping about? What the same shit he always rap about. He could rap on about one or two songs on an album, bro. No, so what is he going to rap about for ten? 15, so what's he gonna rap about? Set. We're not doing that. Bro, if, if you look at it like. 100,000 on my head is disrespect. Uh, <laughs> what are you finna rap about for 10? No. What are you finna rap about for but 10 then songs? You gotta think about yeah, it. You know what I'm saying? Joke. Because that's what they forgetting, though. That's what they forgetting. Y'all can sit here and throw that in. Oh, well, he had this song here, he had this song here. Like but no, no, no. Hey, what is Drake finna rap about on. for 10 I get to 15 what he's saying songs? You get what I mean? I get what he's saying because you gotta look at Kendrick, how he has a, a plan for his album. So we gotta take Drake. You're gonna rap about you tell you me know, Drake feelings. Can't with 10 rap he can rap about feelings for, 10, for 10 songs. No, no, not 10 no, songs. No, no. Hold on. You're not doing that for 10 songs. Now. Hold on, let me say this. this so, okay, you know, let's, let's go He's to Scorpion. Never done album. That, let's though. go to Scorpion album. So, everybody's in there, her Scorpion, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. So, you, you tell me he can't do Elevate. But see how y'all picking elevate. specific songs. He can do Sandra but Rose. Said, he can do a mob tie. But three y'all picking specific rap, songs, and then you think about it, an album, bro. That's not gonna work. Well, hold on, but those three different types of three rap, different types of rap. About? Sandra like Rose is like, go? hold on. Sandra Rose is like him, like I'm talking to you type shit. Shit I've been through. Mm-hmm. Elevate is like I'm motivating you, like some triumphant shit. And you got mob Watch ties. I'm talking my shit. Watch this one. That's three different types of rap. But we just admitted a minute ago, Joe, on words that he can rap any type of way. So you're talking yes. about carrying that persona rap any type of way for 10 songs 
building an album like we just talked about with the Kendricks or like we just talked about with the Drake is not creative enough to do that. Yeah, yeah. Bro, you, I'm telling you, not, straight up, not, Drake is not crazy. finna give you no, ten not. hardcore rap songs, paint an image like Kendrick will or like J Cole. He's I not, know, bro. Yes, okay, he's he not. Do that. We're talking I'm about saying, subject matter. We're talking about skills. That's skill wise. Skill wise. So let's take. I'm not. Let's. But is that not the same? No, it's not. So your subject is not a skill. No. That song Biggie had. Well, he was just rapping about just. I was, Drake can rap about his, his his Drake can rap about Drake type shit and be lyrical and be fire, bro. Yeah. It don't have to be strictly on the like I was about to the say, political premise. I would I would I would go as far as to say most of I, if his last two maybe even three albums were fifty percent of it he had straight up bars on Thank the you. on the album Thank like you, he was bro. straight up rapping. Thank you, man. He, Thank but yeah. he but it's in his nature and his in his context to always talk about a specific type of. Mm-hmm. Like they're in two different contexts as far as what they talk about. Kendrick will go in there, and whereas Kendrick Kendrick will have like a a conceptual album, and then in there will place like hit songs or like hit like radio mm-hmm. singles. Whereas yep. Drake Bro, will do like a ra- like a like a hit album, mm-hmm. and then in there drop like little jewels and, and gems those are the that where you I was yeah. speaking on when I say he leaves or he leaves Earth on them type songs yeah. like to show you like well, Kendrick I always do this, leave her. Yeah, oh, Kendrick, yeah, 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 for sure. Kendrick's like, always looking to be more intellectual than anything. I else. I ain't used to like Kendrick, yet, but what's Dick? I'm gonna listen to Kendrick on the way home. Like, and I just wanna, we need to start like a little like list of artists that I that I invested right, my my ear right, in now. from the jump. Right, shout out right, Doja Cat, right, shout out Baby much? King, shout Boy. out Kendrick, shout out Chance the Rapper. Boy. I discovered y'all okay, first. Kendrick, and, I don't know about Kendrick and, now, and Chance, yeah, but yeah, I'm I'm just saying. Saying. look, Kendrick. Kendrick Got Drake ear, and man. J Cole are the three right now because of the fact that they're like they're different from each other, like they're they're true. they're so sense. they're so good at what they do and they're yeah. all three so different so, that they're just like the top three of the niggas. Like they all do what they do so good. So we're OJ That's Kanye. Like, we're OG Kanye for him. Kanye's a legend. He he's too, already yeah. He's he cemented. Before yeah. Kanye, time. Wayne, Ho, they already cemented. Yeah. Eminem yeah. already cemented. Once this group of once this tier passes that. Then we'll like talk about it, but I think right. like we're gonna be talking about. They got thug. like two two more years or yeah. so Young before Thug Drake and Kendrick are like, and like okay, Tyler. Are like up there. Don't be disrespectful. Nah, Little baby no, is in that, that conversation, that, bro. No, you can put now nah, with Young Thug. Tyler, yeah, they're they're going going to you know, Little baby is in that conversation. I don't even like Little baby. Do not date him. They is. Little baby is in there. Little baby go hard as fuck. Little baby. Young boy didn't go to Young Thug. Yes, DJ. They go to bro. Yes, DJ. How's he come out with? It, it don't, don't matter. matter. It don't matter. His though. impact bro. on the bro. game. Bro. Let me say why I don't matter. Little baby impact need, on the game is amazing right now. We can't talk about each other. Evidence. Don't talk about each other. We need concrete evidence. We can't just go off one album. And, get, and here, here's the single. here's the concrete evidence right here. It's the Two way albums. that his it's the way that his peers view Thank him and mm-hmm. in the light Thank they see him in. Every, the fact that it's only two albums. I'm, I'm not going to uh-huh. say it ain't even more yet. It's not even more yet. Okay. Okay. So that means yeah, NBA Young Boy is up in there too, right? Pretty much. Low kid, no, you want to okay, keep okay, it on the I want to be real. Hold he on, is. Because he already being compared to Wayne. Hold on, let me say this. Not to me. I'm a, it's debatable. The, I'm going to say that it's debatable. He's not in mind. He's not in mind because I would I would prefer to put someone like Tyler in there. But no. NBA Young, yes, Tyler's definitely no, in there. No, Tyler's dating. past that. You're not going to put Tyler and, and Young Thug, Thug and them in the same situation. No. Because in my eyes, Tyler's already cemented in another lane himself. You can't compare him against I love what you're saying. And you I get what kinda, I'm saying? And I kind of see where you're going with it. But, but that's what we're I'm going to say about. because. But even if they were two superstars, exactly. which they are, but at their full potential, there's still two okay, different so lanes to where you can't So the only them. reason I will kind of agree is because Tyler has put in his 10 years. And Young Thug hasn't necessarily. Okay, so, but still. Okay, question though. Yeah, okay. Kendrick, Drake, J. Cole, bam. So okay. we got obviously that's, that's got Young saying, Thug, yeah. and who are the other two that's under that? After, well, in, in my opinion, I have two. I have Future, Future, and mm. and then I'll mm. put like I forgot about Future. I ain't gonna play. Uh, Chief Key. No, fuck out of here. Gucci Future no, and Gucci. Gucci could be up there, debatable. Gucci way like he, he, he good, but he might have already be. That, that, I think Gucci. Is, up there is, is, yeah, yeah, I feel or, right. or fifth or sixth spot is tricky, bro. You you got Big Sean, you got fucking. No, Big Sean. Big Sean could. I'm not gonna lie. Not he big, hey, nah, big Sean, big Sean ain't going to me, bro. Not to me, Big Sean though. He's very good, but. Not, I do big sound like a CP3. I do oh, give you future. Yeah. I do oh, think future future don't. Big sound like a CP3. Ooh. Boy, he don't. He don't <laughs> miss when it comes to shit that he do. I, right. I kind of give you that. So I, future right. thug. Two chains. No, no. 
I like two chains, but I wouldn't but no, put him. Like, Future he, actually, he like, barely missing it. Yeah, yeah he nah, barely. No, two chains is like, barely yeah. missing. Two chains is barely there, but Future, yeah, but Big Sean is, but Big Sean is though. Has the catalog. Future has the longevity. So you saying two here. chains doesn't have it, but Big Sean does? No, we didn't say. Like, no, 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 no. Uh, I, two chains has two. Nah. Yeah, he there. Hey, he got it before NBA. He got it before NBA. Now. I, I think he's in the. I would say Uzi dude. See, low key, he got it before Lil Baby. Honestly, sure I now, now, now we talk. I mean, if you just want to be real, I mean, even talk about DJ to the masses, keeping it now real. They did put me on Uzi in like 15, bro. Bro, in in, in China, they not over there listening to so the NBA, put, bro. Uh, they over there listening to Lil Uzi, bro. No. Yeah, he said. Nigga, why don't we just fucking end it? Nigga, I had the piss. I've been holding this all damn time. We could have just ended it. Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi do have a way. Better fan base than little baby. He's yeah. he's like I give him that. Um, after I seen niggas chasing his ass at a fucking goddamn concert, I was like, what the fuck? Keeping it real, we gonna say that I probably say future, little Uzi, and then we gotta get like another. We gotta get a third. You gotta be Uzi though, huh? He said Uzi. Oh, I said Uzi. Future Uzi. Thug, yeah. Oh yeah, Thug thug was the first I one. Yeah. But I can't really say. Well, I can't really put Uzi, Uzi and Thug because like Uzi came under Thug. Kind of I mean, that's a good thing. If he came under him, he would be under him. Yeah, but he popped. Uh, he but popped, we're, we're but he popped to, we're, more. We're, we're trying to say, okay. Yeah. We, we were saying the, next the top years. three. The top three mm-hmm. are Drake, Kendrick, and Cole right now. So once they become like legendary status, there's gonna be like the next three niggas that are just like the top niggas. So who who are those? I that, think uh, I honestly like think who's little the next generation. Gonna, but hold on, let's take it third. Then yet, can we even consider future? Because future came no. out yes. around them. No, not not not. No, I'm saying not discredit, but I'm saying future came out saying. around Cole Kendrick. Yeah. And so low key, you kind of missed the bus, he right? I would say it, it would have to be anybody that came out after yeah. 20... 18 or fifteen. Yeah, 2015-ish. Yeah, see, and Future's already out no, there. 20- he already missed the bus low-key. Well, Even I mean, though he did everything I mean, he did. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm, I'm fine with like Thug cool just pie. taking over after that. That's cool with me. Okay, so, but then, it, it did Thug low-key? Well, because you got to think, in the last Thug generation, out, in the last generation, there was a lot of niggas that we like, but they weren't the top. Yeah, niggas. Yeah, yeah. In this generation, there's gonna be niggas that we like too, but they're not. Oh, yeah, the that's actually Finishing a good question. Five? Yeah, that's actually. Oh, good. We can't. No, we you can't saying, consider you future. Missed the bus. Yeah, he low key the missed next. the bus because no, he came nigga, out nigga, around Cole. Nigga, we were saying who's the next? Okay. Our gen, they they're all in our generation. They're all yeah, in Drake's yeah. generation. Who is the the next three goat yeah. niggas? So everybody, they have to be niggas that came out after like 2015. Mm. Okay, well if you want to, if you after 2015, who's gonna be the next? That's why I think Lil Baby gonna do something. Who's the next top three niggas that's gonna be? Yeah, so it had to be like the Lil Baby, like because I said he's he. It would have been Dub Baby. Hey, while we playing, hey, it could be a female. Hey, I ain't gonna like it. Would have been it would have been Dub no. Baby, but oh, he yeah, fucked it all in there. Yeah. Yeah. She did losing that fizzle though. Did she you hear freestyle? freestyle. She, that shit went hard. Hey, make it hard, bro. Don't do that, Wes. Do not do that. You better stop disrespecting. Okay, I'm not. I didn't even say nothing yet. You about to? I was about to. I was about to say I like the beat selection. It was different, and it caused her to flow different. I do agree. Lil Baby is definitely in. in Thank you. I think Lil Baby. I think Lil Baby has as because right now he's showing the most lyrical part. It's strictly on a, about how his peers view him. He's no. been in the studio with all these niggas, and he's got all the respect. Oh yeah, this this nigga the truth. Like he do this shit. But how can we uh, not say debatably Megan ain't right there? Megan, I mean, no, I think she up there with no, Lil she's baby. not. She is. She's, she's more controversial or uh, no, famous no, 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 than no, no, no. her fan base is crazy yeah, and because of the things that have happened in her career. Bro. That's different, bro. Y'all can't even flow though. No, I'm not debating what Time out. Time out. Talking about the impact. No, her. Megan's impact was more controversial than, than her music. Let's yes, be real. Yes, we, yes, honestly, yes. Did Kanye call her Redonda? No. Did he call Lil Baby? Oh, nigga, Megan the Stallion is. You know, you I like, know, I like you know, Megan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I ain't speaking about no, that. I'm trying to say that. for real. No, no, I'm not for real. Because she got Beyonce feature. She do. That's what I'm saying. Okay, Bobby wrote that shit. Go ahead. Ooh. But my whole Talk point is, shit. like, oh, we man. not gonna play. You know what I'm saying? I you feel like we kind of discredit her because she a female. She like, not, I ain't gonna lie. You can go back me. and watch the episodes. Any, any of the fans of y'all, like, I was discrediting Megan at the beginning. I really said I didn't fuck with her, he but did. I done. Hey, I didn't change. Like, okay. I really. I hate to do this hard. about women's rap because I, when it comes to women's R and B, I'm like, I'm here with it. But women's rap, this is this is what I hate. Oh, talking about so it's, when I I got in trouble for saying this. Go ahead. No, it's not even that. It was just my whole thing about about Nikki. Like, okay. 
Okay, we're gonna wrap it up. But okay, Nikki was saying on, on the JBP that she felt like she didn't want to be judged with the women. She felt like on the grand scheme of rap, even with the men, that she was like on the Mount Rushmore. And I'm not gonna argue whether she is or not. But I'm saying if we're gonna judge on that scale, we're not putting Meg the Stallion on Lil Baby, the Baby, Young Why Thug. Not? Why not though? She's, she's not, not as good. skilled in music as them. She's not better than them. Or Roddy Rich. I'm not saying she's better than Roddy Rich. I'm not saying she's better than them. Oh, no, no. definitely not better than Roddy Rich. Hold up, hold up. Because I'm not saying she's better than Roddy Rich. She deserves to be talked about as much yeah, as them. Yeah. That's no, what I'm saying. I mean, we can do know, that. You know this BTS song that she remixed? Hey, hold Butter on, to my butter. It was hot, hot, was like on one of the hot tracks. To my butter. It was lyrical as fuck, bro. No, because of BTS. I'm the not. Fuck? I'm not. Oh, the best. BTS so is one of the most lyrically. If we just talk about straight lyrics, no, I know. They're no, no, they way more popular. Hey, if Shaq make a better lyrically BTS song, BTS is way more popular than Megan. Come on, stop. 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 Don't do that. You're I'm mad what he just said. BTS is way more popular. If you go sit here and say Megan, all over the world, all over the world, yes. So Meg the Stallion now all over the world. Not more than BTS. Fuck no. Are you sucking? No, no, no. Are you crazy? Thank you. He don't know BTS. Thank you. He don't know the A. I don't know. Who is that? No matter no, fucking Meg the Stallion no, all over the world, oh, nigga. Oh, BTS way oh, bigger than oh. I'm not saying they know more than them. She would never. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. What you? What you saying? But Meg the Stallion all over the world too, <laughs> bitch. Finish people, goddamn. No. <laughs> For one, it's one of her. Who got more followers? BTS! Yeah, nigga, let's look it up. Hey, no, yeah. no, BT, BTS got more followers. You're crazy. It's 11 of them. No, it's 11 of them. All right, this is the last one. Prove it. We finna prove it. Who got the more okay. followers? No, no, no. BTS is on the whole Nah, 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 nah bitch. Y'all really better, better be right. <laughs> 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 BTS probably got like they 200 They really are up there, DJ. They, they, got, got, they got no fucking... That's, that's, they probably do got 200 They're K-pop, bro. That's a whole different... They killing. They killing. 48. 48,000? 48 million. 48 million? Okay. BTS has 48 million followers on the IG. They probably got like 7. Seven no. million. She got a good nah, okay. twenty. Right. 20 I say twenty. She was right there, man. What is that? She got twenty four though. Yeah, she has twenty four. So pretty much half. That bitch half. half. So let's go. Game one. No, with one person, they got eleven, bitch. No, yeah. So fuck up. Time out. Let me let me just say that I did not expect her to have twenty four million followers. Okay, bitch. But, okay, hold on, look. Last thing. Last thing. Last thing. Keep it real though. What about their population compared to ours? They have a way, you know what I'm saying? Whoa. Hey, they got twice as many people as we do, so. And she handicapped by her uh, label, and she's still out here killing. That's right. true. Yeah. But we got to wrap this up. being a BTS. Maybe. No. <laughs> shout out to Hadi. Shout out to Stallion. Oh. Nah, no, she did go hard, but. Uh, hey, if you ever need a feature, holler at me. I'll hop on that hoe with you. Hey, do it for Texas one time. Uh, Thank y'all for tuning in for to another episode of the 5% Podcast. If you want to. Put your hand on your you want to. Please do. <laughs> See my amazing podcast Shut the face. Fuck up. I am here every Jeez. Friday at 8 30 on Facebook there. Live. My amazing something. podcast face is also up at 10 a.m. on Saturdays on YouTube. So make sure you like and subscribe. Mm. And in my amazing podcast Shut voice up. is on all DSPs. Apple Podcast, Spotify, which is the most popular at 10 a.m. as well. You can simply just search the 5% yeah. Podcast. Do not spell out the po- 5. Put the number 5 because you're not going to find us. <laughs> Please don't spell out the podcast. Also, follow us on Instagram as well, the same the 5% Podcast. Mm-hmm. And then just go follow me you know what I'm saying I'm tagging all the videos oh, and go hell. follow my own all page right, all right. but mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying if you want to just somehow ironically want to follow these other guys or listen to these other guys they also hear as well every week go ahead uh, it's your boy Wes uh, shout out to the people that tuned in today I noticed we had the highest uh, retention rate we've had like ever since I've been like keeping track of that so Ooh. shout out to all y'all that were listening today um, I hope y'all like the topics um, do what DJ said and follow us on all streaming platforms and all social media uh, as we continue to grow, man. I'll be back next week. All right, and uh, this is Javon Lockett, man. And like they said, just continue to uh, you know, just go on this journey with us, and right. this is you know, so we're going simple, to big man. things, man. Thank you all. Wow. It's right. your boy Brian. Y'all tune in next week. We're gonna be in here. Facts. It's your boy Rick. We out of here, baby. And we'll never forget Lyndon on the ones and twos every day, every Friday with us as well. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, uh, tomorrow we're in Fort Worth with it. Live in action. Nation. Peace Nation. Oh, yeah. Pull Shout up. out Free Peace Show. Nation. Yeah. Fort Peace. Worth. Oh, my balls. I love you guys. I think I said them